Yes, top of the evening. Good news. Rasha knows this is the source experience. We got we got we got a fire show for y'all tonight, man. Some fire, a fire conversation that I want to have. Um, first off, let me make sure y'all hammer me. You heard? I want to make sure y'all hear me. I got the light on tonight. That's why I got the hater blockers on. You know what I'm saying? The hater blockers. <laughs> yeah, I got the, the blockers on. But I want to um, make sure y'all hear me. All right. After, after I make sure y'all hear me, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to kill it, man. It's, it's, it's all about separation sauce now, man. That's what I'm doing. I, I've been I've been in my bag lately as a content creator, right? But the separation of the source, you know, because you know, five years. I got five years on the YouTube scene, right? Five plus years. And um I just look at the YouTube scene. Um and it's very, very goofy, to say the least. Very weird. Very, 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 very weird, right? You know, it's weird, to say the least. And I just think, like, as a content creator, I just think as a content creator, right? Um, I'm not really trying to fit in with you guys anymore. Cause a lot of you, a lot of you guys, the jig is up. It's 2024. Um, you guys are full time YouTubers, scammers, frauds. So you're not full time boxing people. That's why I did the live, which I did yesterday, and I was like, "What do you bring to the table?" Because when we talk about the table of boxing. Like I said, I've been on here for five years, man. I've seen all, all, a lot of you guys are gimmick out. Not only are you gimmick out, okay, not, not only are you gimmick out, um, I don't see no real growth. You know? I don't, I don't, I don't see no growth. I see a lot of, of, of fraudulent activities weirdo activities right but as far as like the growth and and also the um you know just the supporting of actual boxing i don't see that on youtube either well tonight we're gonna we're gonna discuss a, a topic you know shout out to the ones that have been discussing it but i want to really break it down right i want to break it down but before i break it down i want to go over here and show y'all the topic but before like i said before i break it down right i want to give y'all i want to give y'all y'all hear me good right how y'all hear me mic check one two one two audio is sounding good lots of people calling me now no, thank you. Don't want to be bothered, right? Don't don't hit me up now. You know I'm I'm in, I'm in my bag with this now. I've been in my bag lately with this content. And I think it happens to do with you know the equipment. You know, getting better equipment, grinding. Um, you know, just perfecting the sauce and having actual stats. You know, see, I, I prided myself on having the stats. I didn't, I didn't pride myself on coming on here and buying views and buying subs and all that. I wanted to have stats, right? I want, I wanted stats. But before I get started on my stats, I want to just show growth and why I say a lot of these guys on here are weirdos. They don't support boxing. They be in here trying to compete with people, and I'm, and I'm telling you. Just, just give me a second. I'm going to do a live, and I'm going to expose a lot of you guys that attempted to compete with me. And 
I'm going to show where you are at in real life in boxing. And I don't have to show where I'm at. The receipts is all over the game. But I'm going to expose you guys that tried to compete with me on the internet that was actually doing nothing, bringing nothing to the table. But let's indulge on some of the sauce right here. We'll just we'll start from right here before we get started on the top. Danny got his second, his second dub in. See Danny's confidence is up, man. God, yo, God is in here getting the W's, man. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to warm up on the speed bag, then I'm warming up on you. I'm about to warm up on the speed bag, then it's on you, man. Don't run now, man. Don't run now. Don't run now. Yo, get your gloves on. Yo, get your gloves on, man. Yo, get your gloves on, man. Get your gear on. Yo, get your gloves on, man. Yo, get your gloves on, man. Yeah, let me stop it right there. You see what I said in that? And that's how I'm feeling with a lot of you content creators. You guys run too much. Run your mouth. Um, you don't really support boxing. Have haven't you know? You guys be on here arguing, debating. A lot of you guys are straight weirdo fans, right? And it shows, right? It shows in how you carry yourself as men and women on this uh, social media, YouTube in particular, when it. Um, comes to content and conducting yourself as professionals but you know a lot of you guys aren't professional so let me not even go there right but just talking about a professional business because boxing is a professional prize fighting business right, i'm just getting this up over here well, let's go down to another one. But, yeah, shout out to young Malachi, man. Super proud of this kid. I remember when he first came into the gym a couple years back, he was very green. Like, he got taller now. He was uncoordinated. Jump rope. He had all kind of behavior. Still got a little bit of behavior problems, but he's, he's came a long way. He's not green anymore. He spars a little bit. You see how I, I run down on like, yo, man, I'm gonna so tap up. into that, man. Let's do your thing in the ring. This brother right here does. It. Let's get to this one right. Here. So y'all, y'all tap into that, man. Definitely tap into that, man. This is this is a nice facility, man. Look, look, I'm gonna show y'all the paints on the wall and shit. Real fly, man. You know, this shit is real fly in here, man. Well, this is this is what you call the creme de la creme, man. Nah, man, it's only, it's only gonna get bigger. Shout out to all the sponsors, the ones that you know they, they get in tune, man. See, look, y'all could have had your patch, you know, all on ESPN. Look, look, you know, I have to be say that one more time, man. Man, y'all better get in tune, man. Y'all missed out on a, a big time marketing promotion right there, man. For real, facts over fiction. This is the, the one right here five and oh, three knockouts, soon to be six and oh, four KOs, man. You know. Man, that was when he was five and oh, right? And I'm gonna stop it right there because I, you know, give yourself flowers, right? Five and oh at the time, and you hear me talking about media marketing sponsorships then. I see a lot of people attempting to do these things now. So when I give out gems on how to do these things, it's because I have done these things and do these things. So I just felt the need to just show that. But that was many years ago right there, about maybe two years ago, two, three years ago. And I just say to myself, in that three years, you know, this is old content that I just remixed and put out. That's why I say guys are weirdos on here. Because how can you even fix your face up to even attempt to try to compete with me or talk about me being unsuccessful 
and these things. And you just heard a five and zero fight at the time, who now currently is 10, one and one with uh, victories over two, well, a draw, a draw and a victory over two undefeated Olympians. One was a top five middleweight. Um, but that was two years ago. And in that two years time, I watched a lot of people attempt to disrespect me on YouTube, attempt to try to undermine me on social media. But when I look at the things that I have accomplished in the real life game of boxing, and I say to myself, what have you guys accomplished? That's why I did the live yesterday. What do you bring to the table? Nothing. And when it pertains to boxing, but that's what I was bringing to the table back then. Yes, back then. Catch the vibes on that. But let's continue on. Definitely do your thing in the ring. This brother right here does it in the ring. That's where it starts at. Without doing it in the ring, the phone don't ring. Hopefully, I caught that sauce. You know? <laughs> yes, did y'all catch that gem I gave to y'all? Y'all weirdos. So, this is why I call you guys boxing internet weirdos. Did y'all catch that? Like I said, that was two years ago. Media marketing agent, man. Executive souls. I said, do your thing in the ring, and the phone will ring. You guys haven't even really even been doing your thing on the internet. Because now the jig is up. You can't keep buying views and subs. You got to actually bring something to the table. And a lot of you guys have not brought anything to the table. But yet, like I said, back then, you guys were trying to compete with me. And I was, you know, saying to myself, why are you trying to compete when I'm doing things in real life? You're just on this internet playing around. You're, you're, you're playing this. You're you're pretending, and from the looks of it, a lot of you guys are pretending in your kids' room. You're in your you're in your daughters and your sons' rooms. You, you got to step it up. You got to step it up. Cause I stepped it up. This, but I'm, I'm saying I, I stepped up the computer shit now. But back then, I'm, you know, real life shit. You got to step it up, brother, sister. You know, step it up, man. Especially. If you're going to talk about somebody that's doing it, you know, I stayed quiet for a long time, right? Humble. I'm still humble, but it's like, yo, if you're going to talk about me, please accomplish some of the things that I have accomplished. I definitely remember this right here. Future, man. One of the top coaches in the game, man. Remember when you heard that first from the source? Humble, bro. Yes, from the source, man. Remember that, man. Remember that. When, yeah, when, this, man, when this man has a stable... A world champion fighters. He already got two. When you, when you see my hashtag, I'll be like King Richard. That's what my man said in the movie. He said, "Yo, you have two? You know, <laughs> fuck, you got two? Yeah, King Richard, man." Oh, man. I, I got you. I'm Everybody so sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you get a picture, you can take it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. See, oh, this is this is real source right here. Yes, yes, facts, man. Facts, man. Jihad is on his way, and like I said, Marley. And then we got, we got, we got a little Bam Bam, man. Bam Bam's a couple years old, but trust and believe he'll be there too, man. Who knows? It's Stop it again. That was like I said two, three years ago. I was telling you about Bam Bam. You Marley already. Marley's a four-time champion. What are you guys doing? You know why? Why do you guys even attempt to compete with me? You know, you guys were trying to compete with me. And now you guys hide from me. You know, you guys are weirdos, bro. I'm going to keep saying that, man. This is why. You know why I call you weirdos now? Because I, I have a catalog of receipts. And I'm still waiting for some of you guys, some of your favorites, to catch up, man. Get out the mustard. Catch up, man. Please, catch up, man. Catch up. What the, what's that that famous uh Drake line? You wasn't with me in the gym. Word, you wasn't in the gym, man. This brother right here stays in the gym. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out, shout out to the mad scientist. There he is, music. Yaga ya. Now, I mean, yo, listen, matter of fact, let me plug my brother. For any of you fighters looking for the substance, 
the formula. Tap in, man. Nah, man. Don't tap in unless you want to work. Hell no. Nah, they got to tap in. They want to work. They don't want to work. They don't want to work. You heard them. I'm telling you, bro. They say they want to work. That's, yeah, listen, that's Phil Jackson right there. Look, Kobe Bryant, MJ, Phil Jackson, man. You got to listen. You guys, if you guys want to come to the table, you can't have the Shaq Diesel laziness. No hagglers. No hagglers. Just wasting time getting in the way yeah that's it that's it man wasting time getting in the way i'm gonna stop it right there because now i'm going to start the show a lot of you guys that's all you've been doing for years and years wasting time getting in the way but now you're not in the way you're only in your own way and it's showing as a content creator you've been in your own way because as content creators you've been content fakers a lot of you guys are weirdos not supporters of boxing um, you don't even have actual material to even be deemed credible to be media and boxing, but yet you talk about people that have a catalog of work and can show receipts, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, the whole alphabet, the whole alphabet. But let's get to these topics. Let's get to this topic. And I was waiting for a couple of y'all to get in here. So a couple of y'all in here. Hopefully y'all smash the like button. This is y'all. This is funny. Right? What's, that, what's that? That famous uh, Drake line. You wasn't with me. I had everybody laughing with this one. That's how I pushed all y'all out the way. Like get out the way, man. Get out the way. The news by Shaw News. That's how real media work in events. Do you online gimmicks when you're on deck? Get out the way. Get out the way, man. You guys got to get out the way, man. You've been in the way for a long, long time. But this is the topic at hand tonight. Feel free to come on in. I'll put the link out in a second. But this is the topic at hand. You see this topic right here? Now, I watch guys jump on their platforms and talk about could it be, right? Yes, it could be. And I'm going to tell you why it could be. But then we got to break down will it be, right? So now that Jerome Boots Ennis, has signed with not the PBC, Matchroom Boxing and Eddie Hearns. We seen yesterday that Terrence Crawford uh, told Eddie to put up the bag. This is my thumbnail, but I didn't want to throw my whole thumbnail up. I, you can see it right here. You see the four players in position. Now the bag, yes, the bag is in position. Do you know who the bag is? The two, the bags are standing together, the Turk and Eddie Hearns, but more so the Turk, his excellency. Now, rumors have broke that uh, his excellency was interested in doing work with Terrence Crawford abroad, over here in the States. So that's why I say that, right? Um, Terrence Crawford applied the pressure to Eddie Hearns saying, something along the lines put the money up well i think eddie could actually put the money up now but the question of the day is and let me type my question of the day is will he put the money up right because right they just recently invested in jerron and it's right now i know a lot of you guys typing y'all i'm not on my phone i'm not on my phone y'all you know i'm at the i'm at the pc the gaming laptop pc yo i'm not on my phone right you know you do have options right you do have options so there we have that right there let's get that up that is one of the questions right now will they put the money up um, if I'm a betting man, I know they do have the money, right? I think the money is what, you know, the team Ennis want. And you know why I say that, right? It's obvious that team Ennis wanted the money. Remember, they were suing the Cameron Duncan estate or, you know, whatever, whoever took over for a million dollars, 
right? They wanted a million dollars for that. They felt like they lost a million dollars. I think they might have got that and some with this Eddie Hearns deal. So my question is this. Um, will they put the money up, right? I think the Turk can put the money up. But does Boots Ennis really want that fight this early on with just signing to match room, right? Because, you know, once these guys get a taste of the money and, you know, he just got a multi-fight deal, and this is how the business of boxing works, will they fight? I know the money's probably there. If you look at the guy that's in this picture, you see the guy that's in the picture, right? The money's there. This guy right here is putting up big bread. Big, 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 big bread. So the money is definitely there. Will this fight happen, though? Now you're starting to see people, because um, I was watching a lot of content today. Now guys want to pump the brakes and say, is Boots ready? Is it too soon? But, you know, this is what happens. I told you they was going to switch up on Boots, right? I, I seen this coming a mile away once he left the PBC. But when he was on the PBC, everybody was ready. Terrence Crawford was ducking. But now that this fight can really happen, it's not no PBC weak shit. They have the Turk over there. The Turk does business with Eddie. The rumors have been certainly that the Turk wants to rock with Floyd. I mean, not Floyd. He, you know, he wants to rock with Bud. So this fight couldn't possibly happen. Could it happen, though, is the question. Because like I said, he just signed with Matchroom. He's starting to see the whispers. Oh, he's not ready yet. Let it manifest. Because maybe they want to, you know, play around over there now, make some money. Because they can make big money fighting Bud, but if he gets beat up, exposed. And I hate to use that word, exposed. You know, because Bud Crawford is that guy. Bud Crawford is battle-tested, whereas has Boots really been battle-tested? See, a lot of these guys that were pushing the Boots in his line was only pushing it because he was over there with them at the time. But now that he's with Matchroom, you know, like I said, I see the content. He's not ready. He may not be ready. They don't rush him. But, man, this is a week ago. You guys, all oh, he was ducking. Crawford should have fought him. Shout out to Showbiz. Showbiz was campaigning hard for that fight. Hard for that fight, man. But now, like I said, the, the, the chitter chatter has kind of slowed up. And it's and it's funny to me that it has slowed up because um why would you slow it up now when you know you see who the Eddie's next to his excellency, the church. They can make this fight. The money is there, right? Do y'all think the money is there? There's three people up in here, man. For the three that's in here, do y'all think the money is there? Let me see where the three is at, where the three is coming from. You know, I got all new stuff, equipment, so I can see. Oh, we got three on YouTube right now. So somebody feel free on YouTube, man. Um, What do y'all think, man, as far as the money? Do y'all think the money is there? Definitely the money. That's the, that's the too easy question. Shout out to WCS. The money is definitely there. But, you know, WCS is going to know this question, this answer. Because WCS is, like I said, I tell WCS all the time to start putting on his consultant hat. And, you know, you know, especially being a hoorah. You know, WCS is a military man. Simplify. You know, the Marines. The few, the proud, the Marines. So he knows how to multitask. I tell them all the time, get down with the consultant and, you know, other things on the side. Now, this is what I say, right? I don't think the fight is going to happen. And I know why. Um, because I say this, right? Boots and it's one of the million dollars. He's like, well, how do you know he won a million dollars? He was suing for a million dollars, man. I think he probably got more than that right now, right? Um, Crawford is still dangerous. When they were saying they wanted to fight Crawford over there, they was over there. They knew the money was funny. They knew the money was not active. The moment, and look, I'm paying attention. I'm giving out free gems right now. The moment the money was actively good, you see what Terrence Crawford said. 
Terrence Crawford said, Eddie, put the money up. We can make this happen. Because now he knows they are over there with the Saudis and the Turk. The money is there, right? Now I say this, the Ennis family, Bose, he's a smart guy, right? Boots is a young guy, right? They just secured a deal. Do they want to get exposed and beat up against a dangerous Terrence Crawford? I know we was on here saying that Terrence was ducking him. Terrence Crawford is 40 and old with 40 damn near killers on his resume a who's who because now earl spence all of a sudden is not a who's who sean porter's all of a sudden is not a who's who cal brook is not a who's who we can go down and down and down and down but now all of these pbc killers you notice i named the pbc killers they're not who's who no more but these are guys that terence crawford had stopped yes complete the stopped they did not make it to the final bell so I say Terrence is still actively dangerous. Will they make this fight? Jerome and said he wants to be undisputed. It could happen. Will it happen? We know the money is there. But will this fight happen is the question. Like I said, the money is there. That is why you see Terrence got very boisterous, like make it happen. Because he knows, you see the thumbnail that I use tonight. I'm getting better with my thumbnails too. I have Eddie and the Turk for a reason, for a reason in the picture. Because unlike the other guy, the BLK people and the other guys, we know the money over there is certified from shout out to the brothers the brothers going to work it out the african brothers that pulled the heights we know from deontay wilder big baby well maybe not big baby he you know got jammed up with a car and all shit but, but all these other guys that went over there to sorty and got m's plural yes plural m's brothers gonna work it out stop yes lawrence cole's voice i'm gonna stop right there i let that soak in did that soak in what I was just breaking down real quick? The money is there now. This ain't no PBC. Oh, we offered them this, we offered them that. And my mother's offering all kinds of shit with no dates, man. Where is your dates at, man? Who's fighting? Like, come on, man. Knock it off, man. You, you can fool those weirdos, right? You can fool those guys that, you know, they want a, a, a credential. They want to be down. They want favors. You can't fool me. Cause did, did I just show you my catalog when I started this off? Of the things that I have been doing over the years, I don't need a credential. I have grown a brand, a business, a media company. I I feel like I made some great investments and in relationships with positive people, and it's showing. Coming on this internet, discussing boxing, dealing with you weirdos, you fake fans. Well, but I'm gonna tell you something. You know what I had to really start to realize? Look, I'm gonna take my hater blockers off so you guys can see my eyes when I say this. I realized that you guys, not only are you weirdos, you guys are jealous fans of the source experience because the source experience is part of the program. A lot of these jealous fans are what they are, jealous fans. You are fans of Earl Spence, somebody who I got one on with, Derrick James, and I'm still standing and growing. So I understand a lot of you weirdo, jealous fans, because you see me get at your gods and the people that you Najee, Ramba, Najee, worship. And you see me still stand tall and damn it, God damn it, I grew. And I look at some of you guys Man, you guys are nowhere to be found. I'm going to throw the glasses back on because I'm feeling cool like that. The news by Sha News. But do we, do we think this fight is going to happen? Me personally, I say no. What do you guys think? There's five people in here. I say no. I say this fight does not happen. And the reason why I say this fight doesn't happen now because I threw the shades back on and I am the media marketing agent. I am the, the guru. 
this fight is not going to happen because, like I said, Bozy Ennis and Boots just secured the bag. Terrence Crawford is no walk in the park. Terrence Crawford, you see what he did to the biggest. Moby, big dog, the fish, he played him. This is a guy who was battle tested. He was the best. He fought Cal Brook when Cal Brook was Cal Brook. He beat Sean when Sean was Sean. He beat Danny. He beat Ugas. He was this guy. Terrence Crawford made him look like he was nobody. So I say, why would these guys want to fight Terrence when Terrence doesn't show any signs of being a Regis progress? And shout out to Ruguru, who was my guy. But we've seen Ruguru fight in his hometown, and it looked like he lost the step. Thus, Devin Haney was ready to get on him. It's like what Gary Antoine Russell said to me many years ago. When you see the Alpha Pride Lions lose that step, that's when you jump on them. Quick question, is Father y'all in here. Does it look like Terrence Crawford has lost a step? Does it look like Terrence Crawford has lost a step? We see him sparring with Shakur Stevenson. 15 rounds. And Terrence, man, please, next time give Jihad some rounds. Jihad was down there, you know. I know you like to spar the young guys, right? Why don't you give Jihad some rounds? Give him some rounds. Teach him a thing or two, too. You know, pass on the knowledge to the youngins coming up. I'm saying, you know. You know, you like sparring Shakur all the time. You spar Zach yet. Yeah. Hopefully I said his name right, 15 rounds, you know. Could have gave Jihad a couple rounds. But, hey, what do I know? But what do you guys think, man? What do, what do, what do you guys think? What, what's your thoughts, man, on that? What do you, what do you guys think? Uh, man, I, I'm somebody dipped off, man. I have five people in here. They probably didn't like the fact that I said Terrence should have sparred Jihad. Oh, you guys didn't know I knew that, huh? Hell no, Terrence has not lost a step. I agree, Chris, he hasn't. That's why I don't see them making this fight because they're not thirsty for money right now, right? They're not thirsty for money. The money is there, but they're not thirsty. They, they just secured a nice deal, right? So they don't need to jump out the window, you know? And this is boxing, I'm telling you. Boxing is all about milking the cow, cashing in your chips, playing the game. Not letting the game play you. Boots is young, right? You know, now people are saying he might not be ready. I don't think he ever was ready. You know, to be honest, and this, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. You know, Boots is, uh, you know, the, like the other guy said, a generational talent, the phenom. But, you know, is that fair to put these things on him when – you know, when we did put these things on, well, the other guy did, and then he fought Karen, Karen, and he couldn't stop him. But he did come back with a spectacular fashion victory over Ramon Villa. Villa? 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 Yes, but, you know, he did not look like, you know, that against Karen, you know? So it's like, do we don't want to rush to judge Right? Is that fair? Shout out to Wise Owl Boxing, right? Shout out to the guys. You know, shout out to the guys. Hey Daffy, look, y'all see my dog on deck? Come back, come, come. My dog don't pop. Come here, Dad. Oh, she left. I was gonna show you my dog. Oh, there she goes. Hey Dad, come on, let the guys see you. There she is, just see you. Busting up in here. All right, get out, Daffy. It's a lot of equipment over here. You knock something over, I'm gonna have to mess you up. I don't want them calling animal uh, protective services on me. Get up out of here now. Beat it. I mean, but that was Daffy. Shout out to the Daffster, right? Guard dog on deck. Um, yes, you see, I, I I have equipment up, I say. You know, I'm not on my phone. I'm not doing the 7-Eleven live promotions right now. So I'm, I'm on equipment, you know? No phones. I'm not in my daughter's room. And I'm gonna do a live in my daughter's room though. When I do that one, um, please, other people do not be offended because it's just, you know, we are content creators over here, us, myself, my family. So when I do that live in their room, 
And they say, Daddy, get out of my room. It's just comedy, all right? It's just comedy. It's not making fun of other content creators that might broadcast in their kids' room. All right? I'm just putting it out there now. I'm just putting it out there. Let me get to some of these comments. Shout out to Toby Bartlett in the building. The UK, man, we are international, but we've been international. We've been international. We're doing it major, as you've seen in real life, and now on the computer screen. The gaming PC, shout out to Dell. You know, I have the Dell PC and I have the Dell laptop. So shout out to Dell. You know, it took time, but you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Yes, in a day. But um, I don't think this fight is going to happen. What do you guys think? Do you think that Boots and them will jump out the window and have this fight now that they secured a deal? They secured a deal, guys. They secured a deal, you know. They secured a deal. So I don't really think they're thirsty. But before, they were thirsty. And I'm not saying that in a bad sense. I'm saying they was thirsty because, you know, they knew the fight wasn't going to happen with Terrence over there. They knew if the PBC didn't have money to fight, for him and Earl to fight, how was they going to have money for him and um Bud to fight? You know what I'm saying? So they knew what they was doing, man. But now this fight can happen. Will it happen? I seriously doubt it. Would I like to see it happen? Yes and no. Um, I'd rather see Bud, you know, the, the earlier thing that was put out there that he might could fight for two belts at 54. I like that. And then I feel like maybe if Boots is feeling froggish and leapish, go after those two belts at 54. Because aren't you a big 47? Right? At least you can get a couple fights in that 47. Get your beat wet, right? You know, make a splash. Get you a homecoming fight, right? Because I think wasn't that the plan? They wanna they wanna bring you out in Philly, right? Is that the plan? I don't know. I have I gotta I gotta watch. I know shout out to YSM. YSM just recently dropped a video. I didn't get a chance to check it out because I wanted to come on here and do my ones and twos, man. Because you know, I, I I get a lot of good responses from not weirdos, important people. You know, I, I could care less about you weirdos, man. You weirdos a box and expose yourself. You been. You know, you guys are weird, man. You, 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 you're not fans of the source. You're not supporters of the source. You're weirdos, right? That's why I call you boxing weirdos. Because the source does boxing activities. The source has been part of boxing activities. And I will continue to be boxing activities. And this right here is just coming on. Like, I watch, respectfully, content creators sit on panels. And it might be seven motherfuckers on the panel and seven people in the live stream. And all seven of these people on the panels... Maybe one of these persons actually does something in boxing. The other six do absolutely nothing. Respectfully. But this is cool. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Now, I am somebody that actually, like I said, just yesterday I was in the gym. The day before that, I was in the gym. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was jumping off a plane covering a fight. I actually do boxing activities. Then... Days before that, uh, a pro bono consultant that I did about what Jerron Ennis should do, God damn it, if he didn't do it. So when I say dudes are weirdos and strange, this is why. Because how is it cool when they do it and these guys don't do nothing? They bring nothing to the table. Hopefully you guys are catching this sauce, man. Shout out to my guy, Christopher White, man. Me and Christopher White... Rocked out for about an hour and a half yesterday. A lot of people were talking about that show. And I keep saying show. They was talking about that blog. I'm a blogger. You know, when, when I do do my shows, I'll be at the, the library and my professional settings. Right now I'm blogging. I'm, I'm here. I'm not in my kids' room. I'm not, I'm not in my kids' room. I wanted to do one in my kids' room to do a little comedy skit. So they could have been like, Dad, why don't you go in your room? Get out of my room. Well, I'm going to save that one. But like I said, when I do that one, if you're a content creator that just cooped up in your kids' room doing live streams, it's not directed towards you. It's just comedy, okay? It's just comedy. Let me get to some more of these comments. 
He said, we are international. Indeed, indeed. June 8th, Tim Tucker is back out there on the block. Oh, man, my 7-Eleven, my 7-Eleven, um, what's the name, is through the roof. I do 7-Eleven lives every day. Morning, uh, I might do one tomorrow. That might be the only live stream because tomorrow is Coach Reen's birthday. You know, tomorrow is Coach Reen's birthday. Tomorrow I do have a uh, a security class that I have to take as well. But, I, you know, I get up early, so I'll do a 7-Eleven live some point in the morning. Um, but tomorrow is Coach Reen's B-Day. Number eight. Coach Reen will be eight. And we probably, you know us, we we do, do we, we – We'll do the uh, family dinner or something, and, uh, and then it's fights on and everything. So I, you know, maybe I'll do a fight party. Will you guys support me if I do a fight party? I know I go to fights and cover fights. Will you guys support me if I do fight parties like the rest of these weirdos that do nothing, bring nothing to the table? If I do a fight party? Toby said they're going to build Boots name first. Exactly. There you go, Toby. I was waiting for somebody to say that. I was trying to say it myself, but I don't want to be the one always giving out all the information. That's exactly what they're going to do, Toe. It's the business of boxing. It's the business of boxing. So when you see these weirdos with these panels talking about he's ducking, he's this. No, you dummies don't know what you're talking about. That's why you just sit around talking boxing. Why don't you actually go? You know what? Um, well, I'm going to offer a class, but I know you guys might take the class because it's coming from me. But I've been giving out classes on the internet for free with my content, if you pay attention to it. That's why I showed that content with me, Jihad, and his father. And I was talking about the sponsorships three years ago because we've been doing that. So when I see people attempting to do these things and then they try to tell me how to do it, I'm like, dog, have you done it? What have you done? Respectfully. Pause, right? But yes, they all want to build him. Told that is correct. Thank you for saying that. He says one does something in boxing, the others six shops and Seven Eleven. Yes, yes, that's a fact. Told. That's why the Seven Eleven boxing chronicles are, are fire right now. They are fire, and a lot of these weirdos fit the category of that. They fit the category. WCS says if you do it in the attic. Do a fight party in the attic. Man, man, why, right? They don't support my fight parties. You know why they don't support my fight parties? Because I actually go to fights. Not actually do I go to fights, I work fights. So I think that's why they don't, man. Like I said, the jig is up. It's 2024. A lot of you guys are just haters of the source experience. Undercover, undisguised, weirdo fans of particular people that I expose and I crush. And it hurt y'all because you guys was always with these people as fans and idol worshippers of these people that tried to defame my character. And as somebody that does this business, which you guys do not do, because YouTube is what we're doing now, talking. I do this business as I just shown, right? Do I need to show it again? Maybe I'll show it again. Let me show it again, right? This is, this is actually doing boxing business right here. Let's run it down. Danny got his second his second dub in. See Danny's confidence is up, man. God, yo, guys is in here getting the W's, man. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to warm up on the speed bag, then I'm warming up on you. I'm about to warm up on the speed bag, then it's on you, man. Don't run now, man. Don't run now. Don't run now. Yo, get your gloves on. Yo, get your gloves on, man. Yo, put your gloves on, man. Get your gear on. Yo, get your gloves on, man. Yo, get your gloves on, man. So I'm running. This is the Source Content Creators Challenge. I am challenging content creators that talk boxing all day, every day. Get off of the phone. Get out of your kids' rooms. Get out of the living room. Get out the car. Go to a gym and show us 
you doing something other than talking boxing on the internet. Show us you actually doing something in boxing, bringing something to the table. This is the Source Challenge. Y'all yeah, yeah, tap into that, man. Definitely tap into that. Man, this is this is a nice facility, man. Look, look, I'm gonna show y'all the paints on the wall and shit. Real fly, man. You know, this shit is real fly in here, man. Well, this is this is what you call the creme de la creme, man. Yeah. Nah, man. It's only it's only gonna get bigger. Get Shout out to all the sponsors, the ones that you know they, they get in tune, man. See, look, y'all could have had your patch, on you know, ESPN. all on ESPN. Look, look, you know. I have to be, say that one more time, on man, yeah. man. Y'all better get in tune, man. Y'all missed out on a, a big time. Stop it right there. Y'all better get in tune, man. I told y'all this six years ago. I told y'all this years ago, three years ago, six years ago, right? Five years ago. Y'all better get in tune, right? Sponsorships. Because we was actually doing it. We was actually doing it. Yes, Nasaya. Yes. Ryan said, ask if you want to come over and have a hot dog. They're having a grill. Yes, go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, close the door, please. Thank you. Now, um, see, she just came in here and, and interrupted me, but sponsorships, right? You guys told me I was unsuccessful. <laughs> Did you hear what, what, what my nephew said? Yeah, I was unsuccessful, but I was all on TV. Only on YouTube. So this is my challenge, man. This is my challenge now. You know, I'm humble, man. I'm going to take my glasses off. Look, I'm humble. This is my challenge now for all of you dickheads, right, that talked about me because I exposed Earl Spence and Derek James for being pieces of shit and lying on my name. This is my challenge to y'all, man. Fuck all your bullshit ass content, gimmick content. Show me you doing actual boxing, professional business activities. This was three years ago. Three years ago, you heard what Jihad said. Could have been on TV. Could have been on TV, right? Could have been on TV three years ago, but yet I was on YouTube five years now, but three years ago I was on TV and you dumb idiots, jealous weirdos, put my glasses back on, man. I'm too cool for you niggas, man. Were telling me I was unsuccessful, but yet I was on TV getting sponsorships. So this is my challenge to you. I don't give a fuck about your views. I don't give a fuck about your gimmicks. Get out your kids' room, get out your fucking cars, and show me you doing something professionally, big time. Because you know, we've seen all the gimmicks. We've seen, we've seen all the, the fuckery. Show me you doing something. This is old sauce right here. This, this is old sauce right here. Oh, vintage, three years. When you guys were running around trying to go on live and do all this dumb shit. On this, this is old sauce right here, man. Let me get to some of these comments. Shout out to Toby. Said, "Wow, happy eight, yes. Tomorrow's big eight for her. Big eight. He said, "I will pass too." Nah, man, yo, we getting there, play around, man. He said, "Yo, your fast hands are too scary, bro." Nah, man, I'm old, man. I'm about to be forty-five, man. I'm gonna be forty-five um, next Saturday. Me and Coach Rena, seven days apart, man. I'm gonna be forty-five, man. I would have went in there and played around with Malachi a little bit. I just like to stay sharp, man. You know, you never know, man. You know, these guys talk crazy, man. These guys be on the internet talking crazy, man. You know, my shit's just registered, man. You know, you should, I, I lay hands on you. I lay these hands on you. But nah, man, you know, Malachi is my boy, man. That's my boy, man. He came a long way. I love Malachi, man. Malachi was green. He couldn't jump rope. He was uncoordinated, had all kind of behavior issues. He's solid now, man. Do your thing in the ring. This brother right here does it in the ring. That's where it starts at. Without doing it in the ring, the phone don't ring. Hopefully I caught that song. 
know? <laughs> 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 y'all didn't even catch that sauce there. That was three years ago I was clowning y'all. Y'all don't do y'all thing in the ring. That's why the phone don't ring. Do your thing in the ring. And the phone might ring, right? But shout out to Jahar June 8th. We are back. We are back. But that is my challenge, man. And that is that is an easy challenge. You know, show me you doing something, man. Later for your gimmicks and all your bullshit, man. It's enough of that, man. Enough. I don't want to see your debates. I want to see you do something in boxing, man. Go go to a local gym, man. Go go get with the kids, man. You know, go, definitely go, remember this to the gym, man. You know, that's how I, I, I've been pushed y'all out the way, man. Go to the gym. rounds in with me. You getting in the rounds in with Broadway. How you want it, man? Yo, how you want it? You either gonna get the rounds in with me, or you gonna get the rounds in with Broadway. How you want it, man? Getting some rounds in tonight, man. Nah, I think he's ducking out work. Nah, you getting some rounds in tonight, man. You either, you either gonna get the rounds in with Broadway, or you gonna get the rounds in with me. Yeah, the rounds in with me or Broadway, man. It's going down one way or the other, man. One way or the other. Yo, one way or the other. You stretch all you want, man. Well, I'm going to stretch you the rounds in with me. You get in yeah. the rounds in with you Broadway. You heard what I told him? See, that's warrior talk, man. That's straight warrior talk. You heard what I told him? I said, yeah, you can stretch all you want. Stretch all you want, right? That's real warrior talk right there, man. Now, I mean, we was in the gladiator's day. So, you know, you can stretch all you want, man. Get in that ring. I'm going to stretch you out, man. I'm going to stretch you out, man. Shout out to Toby, man. Toby said, made you laugh three years ago. It's still making you laugh now. That's a fact, man. That is a fact, man. He said, is it true? Did he stop training? Ah, man, who knows? Those weirdos. He's he's an, yeah, he's another one, man. That guy had the audacity to say he doesn't want his father in his gym. You know that you know it, 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 like see the truth will come to the light, man. That's why that guy was yeah he was so comfortable with lying on my name. Oh, he's mad he can't come to my gym. No, you're a weirdo, nigga. You don't even want your father in your gym. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's why I'm glad Terrence did you how he did you. Like yo, what's up, man? Yeah, next weekend in Brooklyn, brother. But I know how you guys move, man. Best of luck to you. Hopefully your fighter wins. But I hope Devin beats the shit out of you, man. And then you know, whenever they announce this on um, Frank Martin and, and and Tank Davis, I hope Tank Davis beats the shit out of Frank Martin. And then you know what? When when all that happens, right? When all that happens, I'm gonna play this right here. I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna say, you know why I call it? Definitely remember this right here. Future, man. One of the top coaches in the game, man. Remember when you heard that first from the source? Humble, bro. Yeah, that's from the source, man. Remember that, man. Remember that. When, he, yeah, when this man, when this man has a stable of world champion fighters, he already got two. When you when you see my hat second, I'll be like King Richard. That's what my man said in the movie. He said, Yo, you have two. <laughs> yeah, fuck you got you. Yeah, King Richard, man. Oh, man. I, I got you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you get a picture, you can take it down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, this is this is real source right here. Yes, yes. Facts, man. Facts, man. Jihad is on his way, and like I said, Marley. And then we got we got we got a little Bam Bam, man. Bam Bam's a couple years old. But trust and believe he'll be there too, man. See, I've been working with the best coaches for, oh, man, stats, man. These are stats, man. So when I critique coaches and, and I come on here and talk my shit, because I know I'm around the game, man. You niggas is fans and haters of the sauce, man. How dare you talk about me, man? How dare you? You guys can't do none of this, man. You bring absolutely nothing to the table. But listen, I'm going to put the link out because I, I want to talk about this topic, right? And I want to get, you know, some of my, my real supporters, right? 
I want to get your inside. Danny got a second. So y'all, y'all tap into that, man. I want to get. I want to get some of your thoughts on this. This is the topic of the day. Right here, right, right here, right. That's the topic of the day, right here. I'll blow it up for y'all. You know, let me blow it up over here, man. I'll blow it up over here. You know, we, we got the gasmos and the giz, the gizmos and the gadgets popping. Feel free to come in, y'all. You know, if y'all want to. If not, you know, it is what it is. I understand, but give your thoughts on this, man. You know, let me throw it up here. You know, we got, we got, we got, we got the. You know, we, we we're not in our kids' room, man. We're not we're not at Seven Eleven on the on the laptop. I mean, we're on the laptop. But there it is, right there, man. If you want to come in, let me throw the link out. You know, that's the thumbnail right there. Joe Dini taught you everything you know. Shaw, admit it, brother. Yo, man, don't don't let Joe hear you say that, man. Joe, don't let Joe Joe listen, Joe. Joe wants to take credit for everybody's success. Once people start getting successful, Joe's taking credit for everything. Those are my punches. Those are my punches, right? Those are my punches. But here is the link. If anybody wants to come on, look at my thumbnail I created today. How was that, man? Getting a little better at the thumbnails. But, yeah, do you think this fight could happen? Will it happen? Shout out to Toby. I'm going to put Toby's... um, What's the name? Toby, me and Toby is in agreement. Um, I said this too. They're gonna build boots. I don't think they're gonna rush now. Boots got paid, he's good. He's not ready to jump off the diving board, right? Because that's jumping off the diving board. But that is the link for anybody that wants to come through, you know. And I think I'm getting so nice with this. Like it's 57 minutes in. Um, I didn't go off no notes tonight. I didn't freestyle, but I did have this plan. Um and you know, good good show, man. Good good catalog of conversation on the over over the catalog of work. But yes, feel free to come on in. Um, let, me, let me get a time check because you know me, I run down to the gyms. Oh yeah, I got I got a little bit of time. I got a little bit of time. I don't I don't think it's gonna happen either. I don't think it's gonna happen either. Next week, though, man, we we have a smorgasbord. A smorgasbord. Um, my birthday is next Saturday. I will not be at the Barclays Center, but for those that want to attend, shout out to WCS. Let me get let me get WCS up in here, my guy. Bring him in. WCS, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, how you doing tonight? Shout out to the Sauce Experience, man. Shot News, the hottest in the game, man. I'm just on my way, you know. I'm in the ATL streets right now. So I just decided to drop in. But you was dropping the sauce, man. And um, yes. I like the advice you gave him. You know, get out your kid's room. You know what I'm saying? Get out the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get your own spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe you can provide him just one complimentary consulting fee. I mean, cons- yes. consultation. Yes, just man. one complimentary consultation, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. A- a- absolutely, man. You know, you gotta. Now, I-, I I don't know if you remember this, but um, I want to share this with you. You gotta work smarter, not harder. You know, remember when somebody told said that to you that you know you gotta work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you know, but I-, I I just feel like um. With this topic right here, and I, I seen you tearing this up, um, WCS, and I, I want to get your opinion on my platform on this. Um, you know, Boots, now he, he has the deal, right? We have the Turk in the picture, as you see in the thumbnail. Him and Eddie Hearns, they break bread together. The money could get put up for this fight. You see what Terrence asks. Put the money up. Do you think that is a wise decision? If you were somebody who was consulting Boots Ennis, would you tell him, you know, we know we all heard that, yeah, Boots is ready, he's the phenom. Would you recommend him jumping in there with um, Terrence? Oh, we lost WCS, but hopefully he comes back because he's moving around. But anybody else, feel free to tap that link, man. You know, feel free to tap it, man. 
WCS is moving and grooving in them ATL streets. But this is the link. If anybody else wants to jump on, we're here. You know, we got a little bit of time. It is Friday evening. Like I said, I'm just going to shoot down to the gym, ride my bike a little bit. The sun is out. I'm going to get on my bike. I've been, I've been getting on my bike lately. You know, you see, that's why I got the hoodie on right now, so I'll be ready to jump on the bike. All right. I got him back. Let me get him back in here. Let's get him back. All right. Uh, you're back, WCS. Did you hear the question, or, or did I lose you on, on the question? Say what you're saying. I couldn't barely hear you. I said, um, you know, now that we know Boots is with Matchroom, right? Yeah. We know we know Eddie and his his excellency they break bread together. We heard the reports and the rumors that his excellency is you know willing and able to work with Terrence Crawford and do all these things. But would you recommend Boots Ennis trying to fight Terrence Crawford? Based off what I seen last year, based off knowing how to read. And look at resumes based off him jumping out the WBO to the IBF. I would say he needs about two more fights, man, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Just yeah. just deuce, man. Just a deuce. You know, get in there and 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 take two more fights. And then we'll 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 see if he passed the probationary period. Mm. So you you're pretty much you're pretty much sounding like Toby. Build him up a little bit. Build them up. Don't jump off the diving board, Jack. Because, you know, when you jump off the diving board against Terrence, you're jumping in the deep end. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. You're not jumping yeah. in shallow waters. You're not. It's not shallow with Terrence. You're jumping in the deep end. And, you know, he's a shark killer. So this guy beats down sharks with his bare hands. We've seen that July 29th. <laughs> so you're jumping in the deep end, man. Or, or you might jump in there and there's no water in the pool, period, on the deep end. Mm, man, that, that's a hard and Then, right Then there. you start looking like Spence did in the fight. You all busted up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yes, you're, you're, you're correct. You know, you know Eddie Hearns, though. Eddie Hearns love saying that things can be massive. You know what I'm yes. saying? And, and he can put the word out there that this and this is going to happen. But I don't see him... You know what I'm saying? Making that fight now. You know, I seen that guy do a live stream talking about Terrence accepted or Terrence said get the money. I I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but Eddie is not gonna make that fight right now. He just he he wanna he, he knows what's in store if he fight Crawford. Yeah, and it's not it's not the right business move. If you just made an investment. You just don't you, you you like Toby said like you said two fights maybe you're just not gonna just throw him out there right out the bat you know you gotta build him a little bit you know but hey what do we know what do we know shout out to the other guy man hopefully the other guy you know he's got it going on right now you know the other guy the guy <laughs> you know the guy and his man's yes and his man's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his man's in them. <laughs> the guy, man. But yeah, I seen that too by the guy. You know, the guy. The guy's been all over, man. You know, you know. It, it, it's funny that you mentioned him. I want to mention him too, because this now the guy is talking about right. It, it's funny that he's saying that the fight, make the fight, and all that. But these are the two the guy was saying were frozen. So they went from being frozen just a couple of days ago, frozen up to now. <laughs> You know, it can happen for him. So the guy is just everywhere with his content, man. He says, do you think Shakur could sign with Matchroom? Man, um, I know they said Shakur is still a free agent. He hasn't done anything with top rank. You know, July 6th is his last fight. We have to wait to see. We have to wait to see. I know a lot of these guys, they want that Saudi money. And oh yeah. You know, the Eddie, Saudis, Eddie definitely has that 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 um lifeline right there to yeah. the sandbox. He definitely yeah. been brushing elbows with them. Yeah, so you know you gotta wait to see. Great question, though, Toe. Great question. 
You know. Shout out to Toby, Mr. International Man. Shout out to Christopher. I seen him in the in the building. Yeah. Yeah, WCS. I don't know if you've seen um some of the early the stuff that I dropped when I was saying about music, and I was talking about how he was one of the best coaches three years ago, and it's starting to show now because yeah. you know Jihad Jihad is you know twelve fights in. Top five takedown, got a guy now that was campaigning as a middleweight, reevaluating his situation. He's fighting in, in junior middleweight tournaments and stuff. Um, we also have Marley now, who is four time, you know, defending national champion, number one rank. And the youngin that I mentioned, you see him now yeah. off the porch a little bit, bam, bam. You see how Bam Bam's combinations is, but back then there was yeah. no visuals on Bam, but now the visuals are all over the game of Bam. So I just wanted to get your, you know, from somebody that has covered Jihad. Now you have seen Marley in the flesh and Bam Bam. So when I made my assessment of saying that music was one of the top coaches, what's your thoughts on that? Music doing a great job. You know, um, not just to say that because they're his sons, but for somebody who don't, who didn't have the um, the background or the amateur pedigree, um, very knowledgeable. And not to mention, <laughs> hey, you got to be built a certain way to take advice from music in the corner. Because <laughs> 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 he's going to tell you what it is, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just don't hear people saying, hey, figure it out, Jahai. Jahai's already... You know, yeah. Jahad Molly, they already know what to do, but all they need is the mouthpiece of the water, dog. You know, yeah. I mean, there's some tough fighters right there. Music doing a great job with his fighters, man. Absolutely. Then Bam Bam, Bam Bam come out there with that footwork. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm still yeah. a little puzzled. Like, he been paying attention, dog. Yeah, yeah. Hey, when I was on deck, they were saying, "Hey, Bam Bam been out, been been up all night, man." And he was still <laughs> going. Yeah. You know, so now he he been paying attention, man. He ain't just over there just running around a muck. Yeah. He's paying attention, dog. Yeah, Bam Bam. That's get good busy. shit. Yeah, Bam Bam get busy. Yeah, yo, yeah. What's your thoughts on the card tomorrow? Um, I don't know if you got a chance to see the win because I see you out on the belt. What's, what's your thoughts on the heavyweight clash and, you know, some of the things that have come out from that fight week about Jared Anderson possibly wanting to fight um, Wilder and things? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up for a second. Excuse me, officer. <laughs> hey, that's what I think about in that fight. <laughs> shit. I got yeah. pulled over. Shit, I, I got damn pushed the pedal. I, I know, I know, boxing <laughs> is not a a a a sport of freaking. I mean, you know, it's not no, it's not no perfect individuals. They don't get these cats from the um Christian Academy, you know. But I like I like Jared Anderson as a fighter, man. It's just. I don't know why he's all of a sudden just had these run-ins months apart, you know. But he's in there for a tough fight tomorrow. If you go in there, make it easy. I mean, he's already, in my opinion, official because he 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 took some solid power punches from Charles Martin, man. Yes, he did. He took yes, some solid did. punches from Charles Martin, and that's that's no BS right there. Yes, he did. That, that's why I said that. Like, yo, if he takes those from Wilder, he might he might go to sleep though, man. You know, he's calling Wilder out, but bro, you, you gotta yeah, you gotta tighten up yeah, a little I, bit, I, man. I've seen that. Yeah, I ain't even cut you yeah, off. I, I can barely hear you for some reason. It's not linking up to my um, vehicle, but I, but I heard him, you know, call out Wilder. And I don't feel no type of way about that. You know, Wilder's in the heavyweight division, Jared Anderson, Young, trying to come up. If that's a fight that happened, Wilder's going to have to handle this business with the youngster. Period. Yeah. Yeah. If you think I, he I, ready. I like that fight. 
I, I like that fight, but I, I don't think they'll make it. You know, I think I think I think it's good to the um, you know, it's boxing. You know how you know how you say people's names and generate yeah. buzz and all that. I, I I don't see them making that fight because you know, just like we just talked about with Charles Martin. Charles Martin was able to touch that chin up. Yeah. You know? So it's like, yo, you get touched like that by Wilder, a guy that is known to spark something, when he touches the chin like that, you know, all the build up and getting you to be the next great American heavyweight goes out the window, man. Yeah. You know, that shit. That shit well, you know what right they're going to the say, room. right, Sean? You know what they're going to say, right? They're going to say that Charles Martin looked better in his last fight with Jared Anderson than Deontay did with Joseph Parkin. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's a fact. Yeah. But still, Joseph Parker hit Deontay flush. I mean, like that was a lopsided fight, and Deontay still didn't hit the canvas at all. And you at know, all. so he has fought a previous former heavyweight champion in Charles Martin. But um, like you said, I don't know if they're gonna make that fight. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I heard Deontay was supposed to fight Zhang. I've been hearing all this shit. It's supposed to be all of our name. I mean, I don't know who he's fighting next. I, I, I just think, you know, um, even though Wilder didn't look his best, I still see him being a little, you know, just right now, especially with all the things that Jared got going on. He might be a little too dangerous for Jared, man. You know, we don't know what Jared we're getting. You know, Jared, one minute is, you know, I don't, I don't want to do this. And, you know. I'm just, you know, it's too much. You know, you know, you don't know what Jared should get. I didn't ask for all this. I didn't ask for it. Roy, 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 give me a hug, Roy. (laughs) You don't know, man. So it's like, heavyweights is a different type of animal, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got got to be a killer. I know they trying to say Wilder lost his killer instinct, but shit, that motherfucking right hand is still that right hand, man. I don't give a mm-hmm. fuck how much of a killer he ain't, man. He, he connects with that right hand. It's still a heavyweight right hand, man. True. And see, um, Jared don't have no signature. I don't no. know what Jared Anderson's signature is. No. It, I mean, he don't, like, Deontay's signature is his right hand. That right hand. Of course. But yeah, I don't know Jared's him. signature. He just breaks his opponent down. I, I don't know what his signature is that people gravitate to. Uh, he he switches. He's a switch hitter. He's he moves for a heavyweight. You know, I I yeah, think he does. you know. To me, his signature is that he doesn't want to box that long. That's that that always stood out to me. Uh, he said, "Oh, I don't want to do this for a long time." That's his signature. He shows that he's his heart's not really in it. To me, yeah. That's what that's what I get from him too. I that. That's what I get from him. From somebody that has covered him, has been around him, interviewed him at top rank presses, seen him in Toledo, Ohio, moving around. That's what I just get. I just I just get somebody that's doing it because it's out there available to him, but his heart and soul is not in it, man. Good point. Good point. And you know, WCS with many more years of experience. I'm covering the sport longer than me. If the, boxing is a sport that your heart, mind, body, and soul got to be into, if it's not, it's going to come out in that ring. True. Especially in the heavyweight division now. Oh, man. Hell yeah. All it takes is Them one boys punch. boys be dropping hammers. Yeah. All, all it takes is one. One punch, man. Yeah, one punch. Yeah. One punch could change your life. Shout out to Haseen Rockman. Yo, I seen Rockman landed that one bomb on on Lennox Lewis, and his life changed forever. Yep. Forever. Forever, man. That's heavyweight boxing, man. He was undisputed, see, right? Yeah, yeah, he was the man. He was the Got man. undisputed, and then Lennox said, nope, I'm coming back. Yeah, it took him out. Yo, yo I seen you talking about that that UFC 300 card, man. Oh, man, incredible. Wild. Yeah. The UFC 300 card is incredible. Got current champions, former champions, legends. I mean, that's that's a heavy card, man. Only UFC do that. That's a heavy ass card. Yeah, 
I was gonna ask you though, why how how do they get to pull that off and box and can't, man? Because they have a president. They're you know what I'm saying they're they're not walking around him not regulated. They have a president, you know, Dana White's the man. They have a you know, they they have an organization. They don't have they don't have to deal with other sanctioning bodies and all this other bullshit that goes on. You know? Yeah, so I was like, damn, that car is stacked. When I, when I was looking at and listening to your live, then I looked it over a little bit because it pops up on the um the ESPN app and all that. I'm like, damn, that shit is stacked. Yeah, it's super stacked, I'm like, man. I'm like, I mean, you see me doing it different. Boxing, they, they're not even, in my opinion, there may be some money, you know, as far as the paychecks for some fights that puts them ahead of the UFC, you know, with the highest grossing fighter that they have on, on that side. But as far as fight card goes, I don't know, man. You know, you, UFC be putting on some very, very good cards. All the time. And they keep they, the they keep their fighters in rotation. You know, fighters get knocked out. They allow them opportunity to come back. You know, unlike boxing, they be putting them in the in the motherfucking dungeon, putting them in the yeah. storage room. And shit. Stay down here for at least about a year, and when and you know, stay by the phone. Yeah, um, let me ask you this too. Speaking of boxing, man, has your sources say anything about when they officially announcing this date, man, with for Tank Davis? I thought this was supposed to be the week. Whatever you do, do it for us. Hey. Give me about 10 minutes, man. I'm going to get on my PC. All right. I just got to pick some up right quick. Give me a, give me about five or 10 minutes. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Shout out to WCS, man. WCS is in the building. Appreciate him pulling up. He said he'll be back in about five to 10 minutes. The link is right there, man. Anybody else want to jump on and give their thoughts on what might happen? Toby put a great question out there for those who I like this question too. Do you think Shakur may sign with Matchroom? You know, great question. Thank you for that question, Toe. You know, I'm about to go grab me some Seymour's. You know, my yellow. You see how quiet my home is. My kids went up the street. They they came in here. You know, the sun has crept out. The the neighbors are barbecuing. They're having burgers and franks on the grill. Now, you see how they didn't even say, Dad, do you want me to bring one back for you? No. They didn't even think about me, right? They didn't even think about me, but I'll jump on my bike and go up there and grab one anyway. But salute to the five, man. I got a stack five. Oh, damn. I spoke too soon. Somebody left, man. Hopefully, my lights is up, man. People been in and out of here all day. Great. The lights are. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. You know, the good thing about when you're on the um the laptop, you can see. You can see. So I can see what's going on. Right? Give me a second. I am going to go grab something. Sheba getting at me. She was like, meow. Yes, I'm back, y'all. I want to grab me a little snack, man. A little rice pudding. Grab me a nice little rice pudding, man. Very 
Very interesting to see what Shakur is going to do, though. Mm. This is good right here, though. I, I feel what WCS said, though. Like, I, I don't see them jumping out there yet. Just yet with Boots and um and Bud. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. I know that, that sounded good, you know, especially on the YTC and all that. But when you're dealing with these people that really do this, that shit, that shit is so far-fetched. They're not gonna give them all that money. Right? Or 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 line him up, right? But what he signed, a multi-fight deal. Nah. They won't do it like that. Mm. Especially like when you think about it, right? Let's put this into perspective. He's probably their biggest marquee signing right now. Think they're gonna throw that away, right? Because like I said Terrence Crawford hasn't shown no signs that that would be an easy fight for him. But hey, what do I know, right? What do I know? You know, look, look at the time, man. Another hour and some change on here, and people are really vibing out to me, right? They're in here. I appreciate that, right? Damn, I don't have boxing Twitter up, man. Let me see. Let me see what's going on on Twitter. Normally, I'll be having my Twitter account up, man. Let me pull up Twitter. Let me pull up Twitter. It's called X. Yo, I, I like Twitter, right? I'm gonna pull up X. See what's going on on X. You know? Because that's what everybody does, right? It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck. Everybody be on, on X. All right, I'm on X for y'all. Let me close this. Me, 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 me. Then I'll go right here. Let's see what they're talking about on my ex, man. What he said, hold on. Ryan, 55 minutes ago. I respect Crawford and what he has reached, but I want to kick his ass just cause. Ah, oh, man. And so it begins. And so it begins, right? See, yeah, you see how it begun? They trying to sell this fight, man. See, that's what you do, right? Desperation is setting in, right? They gotta do. They gotta do now to move tickets, man. They got. Yo, they gotta do. They gotta do to move tickets. So he's gonna tweet some outlandish shit to get people talking. He said, "Funny, I thought about it for a second and was like, what are his uh, valuable options? I would recommend match room or sign or top rank, fight by fight to access." The marketplace, yeah, yeah. No PBC, <laughs> yeah. At Concourse, no, no PBC. You know, you don't think he go the PBC route, man? He can get the Tank Davis fight, man. He can get the Tank Davis fight. What happened with Fanon? He says these are supposed to be the elders 
or OGs mix sets. <laughs> well, Fanon had another breakdown. He says Fanon has an emotional breakdown over the live stream today when our joint stop giving these old ball players. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't even gonna play that shit, man. Uh, yeah, I caught a clip of Fanon's show, man. He had like another lawyer on it. They was talking some good stuff. I don't even want to play this, man. I don't even want to play this, man. For now, I had a breakdown. Let me see. All right, we'll, 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 we'll give it a listen, y'all. Hold on. We'll get we'll, we'll get we'll give it a good laugh. Yeah, everybody needs a good laugh. It's Friday. Let's give it a good laugh. Other things to be here. Yeah, tell them stop muting me and shit. Nah, fuck you, and you're gonna get blocked. Okay, <laughs> now Fox go Fox. away. You didn't talk about how your boy owned me. Who? who uh, That's why I let you on here. How did he own me? Nigga, how I did was, I get exposed for? Oh, I was trolling you, bro. Like, oh, no, you were trolling me, so yeah. you're not to be taken seriously. I mean, he kind of did. You did look emotional in that little clip. Dude, let me tell you something, brother. I have emotions. Fuck you. Fuck you. I ain't one of you sissy pies, man. I'm not one of you dudes that oh, feel like you got to cover your real self. Okay. I am me. Uh, I show my face. You don't show your face. You gotta be a man, bro. I am a man, boy. <laughs> you don't even fucking know what a man is. You probably don't know oh, what a man is unless man. he's feeling on you. You can't be breaking. Okay? Oh, you can't man. be breaking. Unless shit, you can man. see his rippling muscles. You gotta relax. Look, man, I'm not trying to hear this stupid shit you got to say, bro. Yeah. I have emotions like every other human being has. You it's part be, of me. You can't, be, you can't be crashing out over the internet, bro. It's the internet. You know, crash, I can crash out wherever the fuck I want. It don't make no difference. Yeah, yeah, not you. Yeah, not, yeah. Not a man. Bro. Show your face. It's all good. Show your face, coward. Take my face is on my profile. Be a man. No, <laughs> uh, uh, a man will show his face when he's no, asked no. to, uh, so you don't hide behind look that. Up Twitter, uh, look up my Twitter. Look up my Twitter and show your. Fuck your like Twitter, dude. Yeah, I've seen your Twitter. Your uh, bitch ass Twitter got like two hundred followers on it. Fuck your Twitter. Uh, that was yesterday. Now I'm at yeah, 400. 200 followers on it. Fuck your Twitter. Now I'm at 400. Dude, oh, yeah, now you at 400 I, because gonna, you got a co-sign. I'm going to pass you up soon. I'm going to pass you up soon, bro. I don't give a fuck. Pass me up on YouTube, bitch. I got 150,000. I don't do YouTube, bitch. I don't. Yeah, bitch, you don't do YouTube. You don't yeah, do fucking I don't, I don't, I don't Pass me up on Instagram, bro. I got 40,000 on Instagram. Yo, any, anybody pass me up on that. Boy, I don't even know who the fuck you are. Man, this shit crazy. You see? Now, this is... I'm glad I just played that clip, right? This is why I say YouTube boxing weirdos, man. Fanon was sitting there going heated in with that. You can tell he's much younger. That's a kid. That's a kid, bro. That's a kid. YouTube boxing weirdos, man. And Fanon is a lawyer by trade, man. But do you see how that kid got him? Basically what he said, Fanon crashed out, man. That was funny though, very entertaining. But th this is this is what um YouTube is. Hold on. All right, y'all, I'm back. My bad. I had to take that phone call real quick. I had to take that phone call. Man, that was funny, though, man. Phenom was bugging. What, what, what's this one? This is 11 minutes. I don't know if I want to play something for 11 minutes, man. All right, we'll, we'll give it a little a little listen. Oh, the, okay, so there you go. Practice of writing sensational or misleading headlines in order to attract pieces of contact relies on exaggerated claims or leaving out key information in order to encourage traffic. There you the go. The term is generally used in a dismissive fashion. That's what clickbait is. There so you where's the misleading type? What's misleading about me saying, Germonte, will you please promote Devin and Germont Ryan Garcia? That, that's what you said. Will you please promote? 
That's exactly that's, what you when you look, Gervonta, promote Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. So look at the word promote. Does it say Gervon Devin Haney promotes? You're saying it like he's promoting the fight. Listen, no, I didn't. Because I would have said if I would have said it like that, I would have said Gervonta Davis promoting. I didn't. I can't, I can't, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't. The other one was, you know, Fanon be bugging, bro. Fanon be bugging. I can't. See, this this right here is trying to get buzz. He's he's trying to get people talking. It the tickets must really be fucked up right now. Having to tweet some old goofy shit like that. Now Clarissa Shields is going hard on Bum Gardner. Yeah, did y'all see Shakur get at this dude right here? He's got, I'm telling you, these, yeah, the internet is just different. When it comes to, like, boxing personality guys, let me give this a like. This is what I was talking about. That was WCS's live. Definitely check that out. Um, yeah, this, this, this guy is trying to help sell his tickets, man. You see, that's what everybody's talking about, some bullshit. He said, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But he's a fraud too. Who are uh, Fanon? Fanon? Fanon is a lawyer, bro. Fanon is an agent. He was a PBC agent, man. He probably was like had a job with them, right? And he took a YouTube deal. You know, he, he took a YouTube deal. He has a he has a steady flow. Like, you know, he was he was pro PBC forever and, and a day still is. Um, he pushes a lot of the PBC narrative. Well, you're my bad, y'all. Um, he pushes a lot of the PBC narratives. It is what it is. Man. I, I, I like dudes like that. A lot, of, a lot of these internet YouTube guys, I can't really fuck with because they, to me, like I said, I've been on this shit five years watching a lot of these guys. I still watch them, but I just can't fuck with them because I know a lot of these guys on. They, 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 they are. I guess I call them agents, man. That's that's probably the, the, the nicest way to say it. An agent. You know what I'm saying? He said he has a JD, but not to practice law. Okay. But I, I heard all kind of shit about Fanon, man. Like Fanon, Fanon does be having the breakdowns like that, the meltdown. See, I really wasn't, you know, I like some people that I talk to about this shit, they like, they're like, I look at them as like YouTube weirdo experts, right? They're like all into this shit, right? They're into it too much to the point where it got them kind of like fucked up. Cause I'm like, bro, just these dudes ain't really it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if they was, it's like like some shit that jumped off today, right? That's what me and Combat was talking about when we was joking about this shit. Like yo, one one of these big time YouTubers, man, he just yo, his shit just looked real crazy today, bro. And it's like, dog, dog. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe his deal is up, man. Maybe, yeah, maybe his deal is up, and they and they and they they had they had to expose him like that, man. So I'm like, bro, why why did you show your setup like that? Like, damn, that's not it, man. You get too much money. To me. <laughs> yeah, man. But it makes sense, man. It makes sense with a lot of these guys, man. It does, man. They can't hide no more, man. It's 2024. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna shoot down to the gym, man. While my kids is over there, right? I got I got a little bit of free time, and I'm gonna jump on my bike and do me, right? I'm gonna do me. Let me yeah, let me hold on before I go to the gym. Let me see something. Let me see something. See what's shaking turkey bacon. Damn, man. I did not like. Uh, Damn, did I pass the number? It just called me. Here it is. I 
know I had the number in my shit. I'm like, yeah, they just called me. Yo, don't, don't, yo, don't you hate that? We're playing phone tag now. They just called me, man. Whatever, man. But listen, man, appreciate everybody that was rocking out with us, right? And Conquest, WCS for jumping on the panel, Christopher White. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this sauce, this blog, Toby Ball at the UK. I don't want to forget nobody. Make sure I ain't forgetting nobody. No, I didn't forget nobody. But yeah, we're going to wrap this up. Maybe I'll come back on tonight, man. Because like I said, it's Friday night. You know what? Maybe I'll do a BMF. Um, Cause I didn't. I want to watch the episode of BMF, and then I'll do a BMF live, man. Cause like I said, I'm here tomorrow. You might not get too many lives from me, cause it is Coach Reen's birthday. I will give you a 7-Eleven in the morning. You know, what I mean, I get up early, even though I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I just, I do have a security class. Look, yeah. So I job. I wasn't. Yeah, listen, I was not playing with my security certifications. Look, what came in today. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm taking it more, more serious, right? Look, look what came in today. Um, this will get enhanced, though. This is going to get enhanced to carry concealed by the mid, by mid, um, by mid, I want to say mid May. I think it's like 47 hours I got to complete. So that give or take, because I, I do mines. I, you know, listen, I, I could have ran through it, man, in one week, but I work full time, so I, I stretch mine out. I'm doing it over a course of a couple weeks. But this will be enhanced, right, to carry concealed. I'll be out there like Malik Yoba, but no, I'm no undercover. I'm no undercover, man. But I will have, you know, either the Smithy, the Glock. You know, I got a couple of nice toys. But this makes me certified. So get with me, man. For those of you listen, I said high end too, man. I'm not, I'm not fucking with no clubs, man. I don't, I don't do the club shit no more, man. But I'm looking for high end clients. Some of you fighters, you more high end guys, like yo, know, like you Diddy James type niggas, right? Because I'm pretty sure Diddy and Ryan's gonna have security um, next week, right? I'm, I'm looking for guys like yeah, man. You know, see Diddy, if you wasn't such a, a scumbag, you know, maybe you could have hired me, right? We could have got money together, but you're a scumbag, you know. And you you need security. You're you you know that's why you need security because you're a scumbag. You do. You do scumbag activities, man. But hey, what do I know? But listen, but like I said, mid-May, man, get with Sauce to Kiri's. Um, well, I'm already armed, man. Armed and dangerous. But this will be officially armed, licensed, and secure. I mean, insured. I mean, I keep it on me now anyway because I can, right? You know, I, I can keep that on me. But I will be licensed to protect and serve. No, no police shit, though. Security-wise, protect. I said protect and so, right? Hold up. I'm trying to show y'all a little my look. Yeah, here it is right here, look. Like, you, you got to keep these on you, right? Because if you have a hammer, before I close out, if you have a hammer and the police pulls me over, I'm on my bike or whatever, and they pull me over, I have this right here. All of my pieces are registered, right? They're all registered. I have this. I'll be like, yeah, you know, it's crazy out here. <laughs> the news, Bashadu. Hopefully, y'all caught that sauce, man. Enjoy y'all Friday. Like I said, I might come back on tonight, man. If I put my kids down early, but most likely, like, they won't go down early. But if I can get them down early, right? I'll jump back on, man, because I have the setup now, man, as you can see. I got a nice little setup, man. I got a couple nice setups, man. But I'll, I'll come back on because I got to make up. Remember, I, I wasn't blogging for about two weeks. 
So I got to make up for the, that lost time, man. But I'll definitely come back on, man. But enjoy your Friday evening. Stay safe. Um, you know, do what you do, man. Don't be a boxing weirdo, man. We just like, like, shout out to Fanon. You got a lot of weirdo in you. You know, a lot of these guys are weirdos, man. A lot of your favorite content creators, they're weirdos, man. To each his own, man. I, I can't get into that, bro. I can't. I can't get into that, man. But I appreciate everybody fucking with me. Like, if you're a real boxing fan, fuck with me. If you're not a fan, you're not going to fuck with me. Simple and plain. If you're a weirdo, if you're, if you're somebody that has a lot of jealousy in your heart, you're not going to fuck with me. But if you're official, if you, what, what these guys claim to be real niggas, you're going to fuck with me. Because I do real things in boxing. Everything that I talked about doing in boxing about 15, 20 years ago, I'm actually doing. And I'm doing it earlier than what I said I was going to do. it. Like I, I, I said I was going to really start dealing with fighters full time when I retired. I'm doing that already. I'm doing that already. Media wise, look, my kids are groomed, nephews, everybody. We're, we're working, man. And that offer still stands too, man. If, but you got to send me your resume, man. Please send me your resume. Show me that you got some sort of professional, bring some, some professional to the table. And you could, pop, you could possibly use my working pads because I'm not going to the fight um, next Saturday night. Next Saturday night is my birthday. I will be 45 years old, God willing. God is good. 45 years young. I will not be at the fights at the Barclays Center. I have a birthday extravaganza planned for myself. Hopefully you caught that. So it's a happy birthday, early birthday to my daughter. Coach Ring, we are seven days apart. Tomorrow is her day, big eight. So it's her day tomorrow. But hey, what do I know? Let's close with a little, let's get a little look. For those of y'all that called me Beetlejuice earlier, right? I love it, man. You know why I love it? Because look, Beto, this is what Beto gets, man. Beto gets the babies, man. Beetle gets the babies. This is an old but I know. But hey, what do I know? This is an old but I know. This is an old but I know. Let me, let me, let me let WCS, WCS, you are back on, man. WCS, you are back in the building. Yeah, what's going on, man? I was going to say, just keep that going in loop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, I threw that up because uh, uh, earlier when I was at work, you know, the, the, they was trolling me, calling me Beetlejuice. And I said, I'll be Beetlejuice all day because the ones like that, they love Beetle. You know? <laughs> I don't know why. But, yo, did you mean? These... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. You got it. No, no. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, I was going to say, did you, hear, did you hear anything about the date? You know, it's Friday, man. We didn't get the official announcement for taking an um, freight, man. It was supposed all to come I heard... All I heard, like, um, they were supposed to fight, you know, from what I heard in, um, in Boxing News 24, they're supposed to be in June, right? Yeah, it's the 22nd. So you was waiting on the official promo to come out or something? They got money for that yeah. in the budget? I'm saying, that's that, isn't that, come on, man, we, we are media guys. Isn't that how it usually works? Right? Yeah, usually, back in the olden days, you know, 23. <laughs> 2023 shit. It's 24 now. It's shit different. <laughs> budgets, budgets <laughs> different. You know, you know. I, I want to be like those guys. That, they, they don't give out the emails no more. We don't get the emails and none of that no more, man. The press releases. What happened? What's going on? I haven't got a press release. I do receive those. And to be honest with you, let me see. Let me see if anything popped up between the time I I left. Mm, <laughs> I don't see anything, man. Yeah, me neither, man. I was like, yo, 
Shout out to Golden Boy and Top Rank, Natural. You know, I get them from them all the time, man. But, yeah, get them from them all the time. That's, that's the only notifications I see, man, like the emails I see in the press release. Yeah, man, I don't know, man. Because, you know, you know me, I'm, I'm trying to be, I don't really want to knock them, man. Because, you know, I get a lot of phone calls. They're like, yo, man, why you keep saying the PBC's weak? They are, man. Like, come on. I'm I'm not a content creator that's gonna come on here and lie. Like they, I'm I'm I, I've been dealing with promotional companies now, being part of Team Tucker Media Marketing Agent. So it's like I, I'm used to a different standard, man. And you know the PBC is not it right now, man. It's not it, man. Yeah, you you just, you're used to a certain quality in the workforce. Yeah, man. And and man. and that quality is somehow dissipated when it comes to the pbc you know what i'm saying we're not getting the quality press releases we're not being informed in a timely manner that's what he means y'all he, he's not saying that you weak as far as structure goes even though it may seem that way they just they're not they dropping the ball a lot man they just they just drop it. But then you can't you can't tell these YTC content creators that man. You know these these old great debaters, these old luscious. You know these 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 wine connoisseurs, right? For real, <laughs> these glass tippers. And we ain't talking about putting money in the glass. We talking about taking shit out the glass. <laughs> <laughs> those glass yeah. tip, tippers man <laughs> can't tell these guys that man i swear can't tell these guys that man you tell, I thought you they tell would these be guys. on this though <laughs> i thought they would be on this man i haven't heard no news from them you know what i'm saying nah exactly exactly man i'm like to me this is like it's certain channels right on the ytc when it pertains to pbc business i i really check for them I'm like, man, you guys are PBC loyalists. You know, I'm gonna, yeah, you know, no doubt. I'm gonna rock out with y'all because, you know, like how you call other people top rank Tobies and all this. I saw I view you guys as the PBC loyalists, you know, yeah. the Hamanites. You guys are the Hamanites. So when the information, like, like that boots in this shit, man, I was like, damn, the Hamanites had no, they didn't know, right? <laughs> it was like, damn. They had you no didn't clue, know he was man. leaving, y'all. Yeah? <laughs> it was like, it was like, yeah, y'all no didn't clue. know he was leaving, y'all. Yeah? Y'all didn't know he was exiting the stage right on y'all. Yeah, huh? Y'all didn't. Y'all had when no they, clue. Then when they found out, it wasn't no resistance put up. Like they didn't ask the hard <laughs> questions, man. It wasn't no freaking re nah. re response to that. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be the next Errol Spence. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as far as yeah. popularity, what happened? I, I think. I think that that right there was like that was one of those um yo remember when LeBron left Cleveland for uh, Miami? <laughs> yeah, that was one of those, man. It was like yeah. I'm taking I'm taking my talents to South Beach. Yeah, they had no clue. <laughs> taking my talents across the pond. I feel more 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 safe and embraced over there. Yeah, Luke's yeah, trying to get those UK fans on deck now. Yeah. If he if he plays his car right here, get him. Yeah, I'll definitely get him. But you know, the, the funny thing to me is like, even the other guy, man, the guy didn't even know it, man, because the guy was saying he was frozen out, and there was it was like, man, it was like, damn, it, it's been a bad week for the guy, man, because he yeah. dropped that, and then five minutes later he got signed to a major promotional company, <laughs> but the announcement came out. It was like, damn, bro, I guess they didn't give you the call, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you did not get the call, man. He did not get the <laughs> notification, man. Yeah, you, you wasn't on the three-way with that one, I guess, huh? For real. You didn't, you, you didn't, have, you didn't have Steven Espinosa and whoever else on the three-way on that one, huh? It's funny, it's funny how you know, you know, people can say they setting up fights and all that, but that 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 was one of the 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 big time opportunities where you could have really show the people that you get the you get the news first from your sources mm -hmm. yeah. i thought bozy i thought bozy was supposed to be in pretty good standing with that guy and he, mm -hmm. and he didn't even drop the information to him at all at all he, yeah, he had he had no clue he was 
Blues Clues. <laughs> yeah, no clue, man. He said, he, yeah, he said the young man was being frozen out. And then about 10 minutes later, the froze, the, the, the ice melted. Because he got melted. The, 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 the contract was official with one of the four horsemen, the one of the four major promotional companies. I said, God damn, that's it. That's getting frozen. I need to get frozen, man. <laughs> I need I need to get frozen out, man. God damn. If getting frozen out of the game is getting a contract with one of the four major promotional companies, that's the route to go, man. Mm. That is the route to go. That's the way to go. Real talk. Yes, Bo- Bozy did. Bozy did laugh at him. Bozy did laugh at him. He did. That's correct. Because Bozy knew, like, listen, man, that guy tried to set up fights and had Bozy looking crazy, man. He had them looking crazy, man. He's talking about, he talking about he was making making plays behind the scene to get fights. That um, for those of y'all that don't know, boxing weirdos, right? Usually when they fight. This is this is somewhat of the protocol from what I'm told, you know. Shout out to Wise Owl Boxing Management and all that. This is usually the protocol. A fight is offered to management. Management forwards it over to the fighter. I think. I think there's something like that. It, it doesn't go the promoter or goes around the manager to the fighter. It does I don't think it goes that way. What do you would you know anything about that um WCS as a reporter in this sport? Do you know if, if the manager is informed? How does that work? Does the manager get get any type of uh win of a possible matchup for his fighter or they just go to the fighter? How, how does that work? I mean more than likely the manager is going to receive the word, some word, real talk. Mm. Okay. The manager is going to receive some word, no doubt. Mm. That's if yeah, you that's are the, a manager. Yeah, that's that's what I thought too. I, that's I if know. you are assigned to that particular <laughs> fighter to receive the information. But a lot yeah, of a lot of these guys, you, you call the internet widows, they have <laughs> not solidified a position of managerial. Mm. Yeah, that's why I, I know. I, I asked them, you know, I know a couple of managers, and I asked them that, you know, behind the scenes and stuff. I was like, yo, is, is that what? What is the protocol? Do the promotional companies just jump over you, even though you, <laughs> um, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> even though you represent the fighter, they just jump over you and go to the fighter and be like, yo, listen, it's this day you take it or leave it, or do they come to you? Cause how how the other guy, you know, the guy, he was, you know, he was on three way calls with, with networks, and he was on. It was it was like people were missing in that equation to me. Wow, wow, Cameron Duncan was still living. Wow, he was still living. Yeah, yeah. he was just jumping over him like he didn't, he didn't exist, man. Come on, man. Yeah, him, him, That's not the yo, way him, it works. Man, yo, him, but but he was also, you know, I. Last time I checked, right, I was trying to look that up, man. I'm like, damn, did Bud Crawford sign with him too? Because it's just like, <laughs> I was like, did you sign Bud as well? That's a, to me, you're like the new Al Heyman. So you're going to have two of your fighters fight one another on your own <laughs> network. You know what I'm saying? Man. That was that was an Al Heyman move right there. That's what I was about to say. I mean, you told me about that a while ago, how. You know, in-house fighters, you know, you get double to percentage. You get not one percentage, or you get two yeah. percentage. So he was doing yeah. very well on that deal if, if it would have played yeah. out. Yeah, I think he had too many people on the phone call, man. You know, he's the, you him, he was on the phone. And him, he was, well, you had, it was six people on the phone call. They hear that go down? People, Who were their people jobs that weren't like? supposed to be on the phone call. Yeah, the phone exactly. Call. Yeah, what was their job title? Why were they on the call? You can you can you can vouch for me, right? Hey, you in the chat, you can vouch for me, right? What did they say? What did they say? Man, come on. Come on. Yeah, that was man, that was crazy. That's messy business, man. Messy business. That's weirdo activity, man. Like, come on, 
they don't do that. But I guess you know when you when you're getting a a three dollar big gulp and a big bite, you know that's the deal, man. Yeah. You know that's why I said, man, I'm taking over. I am the I right now. I I have been upgraded. I am the district coordinator for the Eastern District of Seven Elevens. So I currently run the change from New York, Long Island, and now Connecticut. You know, so I'm, I'm moving and grooving, man. You guys might catch me in New Haven, Bridgeport, Stanford. You know, I'm hitting these Seven Elevens up, man. Making the deals. Usually when you expand, you know, your business and, you know, your professional brand, your price go up. Has your price went up yet? Yes, yes, yes. It's 7% now, 7 I started out at 3 When I, when I was 3, you know, I was, um, I basically was, you know, you know, I was learning. Then I, I matriculated to 5 and now I'm at 7 because I, I, I feel like, with the different states that I'm in, I have to have a bigger cut now. I was going to suggest, man, maybe, especially for the YTC, I don't know if this is something you want to put into your schedule, but maybe you should give a, um, what's the word I'm looking for, a seminar, you know what I'm saying, on certain areas of how to be an appropriate manager, you know what I'm saying, how to be respected, how to go look for fighters, how to have fighters come to you, you know what I'm saying? The whole business format. Uh, you know, I did I did try to do um a, a sponsorship package, you know, put that out there for the three P's, you know, the price, the plans, and the presentation, but you know, nobody wanted to listen to me. You know. You know, when you when you go at these companies. You gotta you have what your you prices. Can do. You did what you can do, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you can know. only let them know, hey, I'm here for consultation. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not about liking. It's all yeah. about me providing you with what I believe you should know and what you but need see, to you know, know moving forward. A lot, of, a lot of times people base everything off of YouTube. They don't realize, like, YouTube is, you know, you could buy views and buy all that. You know? And a lot of times, if you go to these people... And you say, um, these corporations, right? And you say, yeah, um, you know, I represent this fighter and he's on YouTube and he does this X, Y, Z streams. That shit goes right over their head. But when you mm -hmm. go to these people and you say, I represent this fighter, Jihad Tucker, and, you know, um, he fights on June 8th on ESPN plus ESPN, um, you know, at MSG, the world's most famous Serena. Um, not only that, he has an Instagram account and his videos are known to receive millions, three million excess of views, you know. I think that sounds a little better than, you know, saying, yeah, if I, you know, you'll be on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is cool, but isn't ESPN the worldwide leader in sports? Mm -hmm. Last last time I checked, I don't know. But guys, we were always telling me, yo, man, I for somebody that nobody fucks with on YouTube, I've been able to do a lot of things with a lot of major corporations without YouTube. So I tell guys all the time, I think YouTube is smoking mirrors, man. Man, there's only so much you can do in that case, dog. You know what I'm saying? The blind lead the blind every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at at the end of it all, I I know where you, I know where you you at with it. It, it. it makes all the sense. You know, ESPN is a worldwide, and yeah. um and this YTC is just relegated to whoever's running the platform, whoever's running that that particular channel. And if you think your numbers, anyone think their numbers is bigger than ESPN, they must have been smoking some good shit. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know, man. I try to tell guys that shit all the time. Like, yo, man, are you are you sure? They they be thinking like YouTube, but I, like I said, in a second, I'm gonna get the YouTube deal. I'm, I'm working on that right now, so I can get my numbers up. Um, I'm just, you know, you know, you you've been helping me out behind the scenes. I'm trying to get all my facial gestures and the hands, and I want to master all that first. 
before I start running my numbers up. You know, once I get all that down pat, as far as the, the looking confused or shocked, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm taking off. I'm, I'm taking off, man. Take it a step you know? further, man. You know, put some, put some, put some um, juice in the fridge with some ice. Let it get real cold. Come yes. in there, throw it on your face, and look shocked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have one yeah. of your daughters throw it in your face or pour it over your head so you can look shocked. Like, oh, God, man. Oh, you got that all over the computer and all. That, that would do it. That would be your most viewed right there. That would go yeah. viral. Now, I think my other one that I'm going to drop, man, the comedy skit where I'm going to set up everything in their room and go hard. And I'm going to have Coach Reed and, and CEO on the side busting and say, Daddy, get out of my room. And I'm gonna say I'm trying to do my show. <laughs> uh, it's just comedy, y'all. It's just comedy. Please don't take offense. On, on a Friday, you know, just Friday <laughs> funnies. Just Friday yeah, funnies. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't don't take offense. Don't drop links. Don't yeah, man. They won't there talking about you. Don't they ain't shit. They ain't, don't nobody watch them anyway. Nobody fuck with them. That's why nobody fuck with them. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse, man. Uh. <laughs> because the more and more YouTube goes on, they they find out that okay, yeah, you're making a little bit of change here and there, cool. But then they 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 see somebody else coming here and they feel like okay, that particular person. I've been on here longer, but that particular person seemed to have something going on that's that's clicking and they'll try to be like that person just be yourself just stay yourself yeah. be yourself be you don't yourself. have to be like nobody else just do what you do what you do that's why i said yo, sh shout out to showbiz man showbiz you are a trend center man you started the, the the facial expressions man everybody just ran with your sauce man they ran yep. with it man you know? getting up out of the work, chair work. Yep, it works for you though, show, but it doesn't work for these other guys, man. It just no. it, it got them look, it got them looking real weird and strange, man, to say the least. Today though, man, I don't yo, listen, I don't know what that was about, man. <laughs> Maybe that was a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that had to be a glitch, man. It was like, nah, dog. <laughs> yeah, <Yo, dog. laughs> Yeah, you might be on to something, man. I think it was a glitch too. Let's just say it was a yeah. glitch, man. It was a glitch, man. It was like, nah, dog. I was like, nah, man, you ain't, you ain't moving like that, man. Come on, guy. I was like, nah. I was like, nah, guy. It's not, nah, man, nah. You can't be, man. When I saw it, I was like, no, nah, man, I got, I got to see it. I, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, it ain't no nah, way. Uh -uh. I was like, oh, no. I was like, nah, man, you can't. It, that's not, I was like, it can't be like that, man. I was like, not with all the super chats and, and this, this, nah, man. No, no, man, no. I was like, and then you sent it, somebody else sent it. I said, oh, man. It was a glitch in the matrix. I was like, I was, I thought I was the only one that caught that, man. I was just like, no, that's not it. I'm, I mean, you, you called it several days ago. I just haven't seen it though. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen nah, it like cause, that. You know, I, yeah, I, but I, I, you see, when you know, fathers, man, fathers and girls, I just know the the the, 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 the breakdown. I'm like, yeah, this, this, this is the daughter's room, man. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing, man? Trapped in the closet? What's up, man? What's, what's going on? What's going on, man? Like, come on, man. Got to do better, brother. You know, that's not it, man. That's that's not the look, man. But today, the, the glitch in the Matrix confirmed it, man. Yeah, that was it bad. Confirmed. That was a bad look for some time. I, I, I know the listeners was up there. <laughs> Like, nah, um, they don't care. Yeah, listen, that 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 congregation over there, they're like, man, they, they don't care, man. They don't, yeah, they they do not care. It's, it's, it, they don't, they just don't care, man. That is um, that is Reverend Ike Love. Remember mm -hmm. Ike Love from from the Martin Lawrence show? Um, 
David Allen Grizz character. Yeah. That's what they, yeah. you know, that, that's that's Ike Love's congregation over there. They don't care, man. They don't they care. Yeah, you got that right. They don't care. They're gonna, they're gonna support old Ike Love over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ike Love, man. Ike Love can do no wrong, man. I love I I love to tell all kind of lies and say so what so what I don't care I don't care so what I want to ask your opinion on this this new Canelo information when they was asking him about Benavidez um how he was willing to accommodate Canelo with a rehydration clause. Oh, Benavides, yeah, man. Um, why these guys do that, man? I, 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 I thought David, you know, you know, Canelo's the man, bro. But it's like I, I thought David, like, bro, why are you, you know, everybody wants the Canelo sweepstake, man. These dudes are just give up anything, man. Give up, give up anything. I don't. I don't think that is a, a wise move for him, though. No. Yeah, I, I see you on that. But you know, you know how they always say it, right? You know, you 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 gotta make a sacrifice. You want to fight? Well, he made every sacrifice. He was gonna pay, take sacrifice. the minimal. He gonna take the minimal. He was gonna do a rehydration clause, and then Canelo just you know he came up with 150 million and think they weren't gonna do it. Hey, he he was gonna do everything. He was same thing Crawford did. Crawford agreed to everything. But they wanted to have the fight in 2023. Benavidez agreed to everything, you know, to try to make it happen. They didn't think he was going to agree to it. He did. He took the minimum. Nope, they backed out. And they, and they was going to put a rehydration clause on him. I just, I just think, too, like, that shit is going to kill him because he's a, he's a dude that we got to say alleged. I'm going to say alleged to be politically correct. That has a tough time making that weight. Mm-hmm. Getting down to that weight. Um. So, to get to that weight and then not be able to rehydrate like you normally do, you might not be who you are come fight night, man. His mentality may just be kill or be killed, man. You know, the Warriors mentality, go out on your shield. I mean, like you said, he's basically said you know i'm checking the box on everything all i want is the opportunity that's it yeah i'm checking the box on everything I, let's see I, if you really want to fight i i feel you and feel what he wants to do that but after we see how he was out there at that event i don't, I don't know dave you know don't don't give it into everything bro he, he, he might have been yeah. out there at that event. You talking about when he was intoxicated? Yeah. 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 That sounds like it. it do you, you, you know, don't don't give into everything. You might you might have some other stuff going on. And that rehydration should have did the trick trigger that right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, so, you understand know, so, what I'm saying? Like, the only like thing the I can think of, Shar, is... Um, the reason why he was like that is because he his next fight is at 175. Yeah, take away, <laughs> oh, man. He uh, might have uh, less less concern, man. Uh, I, I I just think, man, the premier boxing champions, man, they got that moniker, man. Them boys, them boys like to get down, man. They can fight. They like to, you know, <laughs> they the drink champs, man. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's not, it's just, you know, the brothers always got the bad rap, but it just ain't the brothers, man. Yeah, you know, the true. Charlos, Boners, Spence, even Tank Davis at a time, you know, it, it was, it's all of that, man. That's what they do, man. The brothers like to get a little wet, man. And, you know, they can fight. But, you know, when that doesn't work all the time. When you go up against a drug-free athlete, as we've seen with Terrence Crawford, man, you know, you, that shit comes back to haunt you. you, know, you gotta, I still haven't really seen the whole video. What what was he at? He was at awards. What 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 was he at when he was intoxicated? Nah, he was at the fight. They they um he was there. You know, the, the his stable made is the um the kid that called out um 
Edgar Belanga, the kid from LA. Oh, 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 so. See, he was at the event, he was twisted, and they did him dirty. Chris Madsen them ran Still down. trying to talk like, to him, huh? Yeah, threw the cameras in his face. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, did him, did him dirty. But, like, you know how that goes. When, but see, the PBC, which allegedly we're going to say, when these guys are like that at PBC events, they, you know, they got the, the, the protection, the media that's there. They know not to mess with these guys. And if you do, you don't report on that, or you will not get another credential. Mm-hmm. See, he was he was not at a PBC event, and they knew it. They said, "Oh, we got him. We're gonna get him." Ran right down on him. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been something like, you know, Benavidez could have been talking to Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. saying, "Hey, do you want to fight for the undisputed titles?" Yeah, remember that? Yeah, that, that was that. That was that was Charlo. They, I'm telling you, this, I mean, he this could have been asking for dirty. something that didn't exist now. <laughs> yeah, the networks, the networks are dirty, man. They did Charlo like that when Charlo snuck out. When, when Al Heyman had him on a curfew and he couldn't go, and he wanted he wanted to he, he wanted to support Regis and he popped out looking like Rick James and they threw the cameras in his face. And he wanted to fight for Bivol for undisputed. And he only had one belt. Like, bro, what are you talking about? And his one belt was at a division lower than than what he was talking to Bivol about. Uh, he was talking Bivol yeah. at one sixty eight. They, they do they do the PBC fight is dirty the other network. For real, man. They, they be That's knowing crazy. that. They know that, bro. They know For that real? shit and do them like that. Yeah, they do. I'm telling you, yo. That's the only time you ever really catch them out there like that. The only time when 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 they had in house fights, the PBC Showtime at the time, they never do them like that because they know you you might be on to some man because you think back in the day when. That situation happened with Spence when he said he started boxing in 2015. Yeah. And Adrian Broner was the sober one up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're right. That There has been yeah. several moments where yeah. even Andre that, Berto at one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. when, that's when, that's when what's the name was still in their good graces. Fred, barbershop conversation. Yeah. He kind of curved it. He tried to curve it and clean it up. Hey, yeah, this is how these guys was, man. This is how these guys are, man. Everybody knows that. That's why they didn't. That's why I don't know how he's doing right now. But that's why they used to hate um, Leon Muhammad, because Leon Muhammad would always do interviews. Rest in peace to Xavier Porter. Shoot the five. He would do the interviews there, and he would tell it. He would tell it, and they would get mad. He would always say about the morale clause, like, "Oh, these guys ain't nothing but some goddamn drunks." He was always saying how they were all drunks. (laughs) <laughs> and they would get mad. <laughs> yeah, they would get mad. Like, yo, he, he shouldn't be saying that. He said well, David was never getting that fight after losing the belt the second time. Yeah. He kind of fucked up. You see, that's that's crazy how they 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 punish these fighters for doing something like that. Yo, I the mean, WBC, Mauricio Suleiman's going to go. It's, it's a money thing with him. When Canelo Alvarez, like I said, David Benavides is fighting for what five million the most, if that. Canelo Alvarez is fighting for thirty and four. Who do you think they're gonna get a belt to? They make more money off of thirty than five. David, hey, I, 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 I don't know. Belt. I gotta um, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta um, disagree with you on that Showtime because Shakur Stevenson, we was there now. You can't forget. He was the mm, WBC champion. Yeah. And he came up here and fought Yashin in one fight and then got the fight for the vacant WBC. Well, you know, Shakur did it, did, is it, with... did it not did it not pertain to him or what's the deal? You know, because he dropped the belts on the scale too now. Yeah, Shakur didn't have a Canelo Alvarez campaign. Okay, true, true. You know, Canelo, Canelo was Canelo, man. That's like at the time when um but he, he dropped all the belts, but Floyd, because Floyd didn't want to pay them that money. They're gonna they're gonna give the belt to the fighter that's making the most money. The most money, especially the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman. Mauricio Suleiman is all about that bread, man. Yeah, yeah, we know that. You know, 
what, what's the name? The, uh, a, da a David Benavidez title defense versus Canelo Alvarez title defense. He's making more money off a of Canelo title defense. That's why David was fucked. Like, the truth be told, if they was honorable and this wasn't the wild, wild west and boxing was fair, um, Canelo would have never fought. Who who he fight against? Idris Ibram, a small partner for the for the vacant belt. Nah, they would have mm -hmm. let David Benavitez get his belt back. But they was like, nope, that, that was the opportunity to get the belt to Canelo, and the rest is history. The rest is history, man. Well, I, I look at it like the good thing that he has on his side is that he's young. So, yeah. you know, him, I don't know. I want to say he can get a belt at 168. I mean, 175. I think he might just be, you know, on the ladder up. I don't I don't know if he's going to be able to come back down to 168 once Canelo decides to vacate those belts. I don't know how yeah. long Canelo's going to be at 68, to be honest. There's no way he can be a 68 for the next five years, man. You know, I think, I know I think once I think once he jumps up to 175, he needs to just stay there. Because drop going up and coming down is never a good thing. No. Well, I'm talking about Canelo, like you know oh, Canelo is a, Canelo's Canelo, cashing out. I know, he's, I know he's, he's not gonna be an undisputed champion for like three to five years. He's cause he said he nah. got like five years left, I think. So Canelo's gonna come up off those belts. I think I think Canelo's sitting in the cut, right? This is my my opinion. He's sitting in the pond. Canelo right quack quack. Canelo Canelo wants what's the name to win? Bivol. Oh. Canelo wants Bivol to win over Arthur Betra B Red. Because then it'll set up the, the rematch for him and Bivol. And for Canelo, it's it's gonna be a, another big Paycheck rather than him thinking he can go in there and beat him. This is gonna be yeah. another big paycheck for Canelo. Paycheck, Canelo's yeah. already I, took several losses already. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I know he's he's rooting for Bivol. Because it, 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 it that'll be a big, big money fight for him. That if he loses, he loses again. There's nothing. But he won't lose at the bank. That's all it's about, the revenue winner. Whereas Arthur um that fight is a dangerous fight and that might be not be a fight that he wants because you know he, he he couldn't really do nothing at 175 i guess a true 175 pounder you know kovalov when he got that belt it was like kovalov had the orders man yeah kovalov was doing pretty dang good and then, and then all like, of a sudden he just start man come on <laughs> He just start percolating, dog. How you gonna he start got, percolating he got the law, anywhere? Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he got the Lord's Cold special. Stop! They told him. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to call. They told him to stop. <laughs> and then he just started. He just started fighting different. Like, you know, is this the same guy? Who? Wait, real. Wait, same thing with Ugas. Right? Just start fighting different. Yeah. Start looking different, moving different, fighting different. <laughs> That's the orders, man. Yeah, they don't know about those orders, man. So you, know, you, know, you man. guys got you guys got to be front liners, man. If you're not a front liner and you're just an online, it's easy to program you. But when you're a front liner, man, you you work fights, you see things, you hit things, you're around. You, you should, it's easier to assess when you're online and you're hearing commentary and you're watching TV. You might have a drink or two. You're comfortable on your own couch. You don't know what's going on. Your program, <laughs> your program, man. So yo, know, it was it was easy for y'all to say no, man. Earl Earl dog walked him. The hell, he did. The hell, he <laughs> did. Then they told who who has got the sign. Stop! It was a rap. <laughs> it was a rap, man. <laughs> it was a rap. Movement Ugas halted. Turned a, well, he turned into a heavy bag. He was. He was a heavy bag. You know what a heavy bag is? It doesn't punch back. It moves around. It doesn't yeah. punch back. You ain't lying. So he he heavy bag. That's not Cuban heavy bag, too. Yeah. Yeah. I I I look real bad. Just just let yeah. Spence just punch him in his eye, man. Just that's it. They just covered up. Didn't didn't do nothing. 
You see, you see, he don't care. Ugas hasn't been in the ring since he got robbed. He got Bentleys. He got all this good stuff going on, man. It's part of the deal. Mm-hmm. It was part of the nice, deal. Nice looking wife. All oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. His he's girl, good. whatever. Yeah. He's good, man. He's straight, man. But you, if you guys don't know, the orders are real, man. The orders, the orders are real. Are real. <laughs> Oh, what do you think about the news where they were saying that um, Isak Cruz and Matias? I, I think Matias stops. I think oh, Matias yeah. just, I don't know. I think he, he brutalizes Isak Cruz, man. I, I, I think Isak Cruz is the weakest champion out of the four. Yeah. Not weak as far yeah. as strength, but weak as far as overall ability. Skills, yeah, yeah. Now he, he caught, he, listen, like, like Richard Hitchison said about Devin Haney and George Cambosis. Esau Cruz caught his leg, man. Roly was a leg, man. Well, the rest of those guys. T- <laughs> well, I think I think Hitchens <laughs> caught a lick too that last yeah, night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, he did. Shout out to Keith Conley and uh, and, and Eddie Hearns. They had to pull some strings. So that's neither here nor there. A legend. We gotta say a legend. Legend. But, legend. <laughs> right? but as far as the one forty pound champions go, Cruz, Lopez, Matias. And um, Devin Haney, Isak Cruz is the weak link, man. If, if I was if I was a contender at 140, that's who I'm trying to jump on right now. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm trying to jump on Cruz, Isak Cruz, man. Then you know it's the too bad. Part. Okay, go ahead. I said it's too bad Gary Antoine Russell can't get his name thrown in the hat, man. Let me let me read you a um. Let me find it right quick. This is just crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, Let me see. Let me find this. They talking about Jerron Nennis has all talent but no dance partners at at 147. (laughs) Um, That's a recent article right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Salute, JD. I see you in the building. And where is this? Um, where is that? Where is that? Well, only thing I was saying is they did an article and said Esau Cruz, um, something about Pitbull mania. So I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, right? So you you are getting applauded. For fighting the weakest champion at 147 pounds in Rolando Romero, who was gifted a championship by a controversial stoppage by Tony Weeks. In a fight that he was losing. Yeah, fight he was losing. He'd been down, all that. So they did an article on Isak Cruz saying that his he has stardom, he's a champion. How can boxing fans take that route? And praise this man for fighting the weakest champion and beat him something he was supposed to do. He was supposed to beat that man. So I guess they're looking at it like he moved up from 135 to 140. Mm-hmm. And he still went in there against the bigger fighter in Rolando Romero. And he stopped him. I guess when you know, yeah. people forget. People forget. Yeah, and you know, and you know too, what they could be trying to set up to, to, to play down a role, Tank Davis rematch. Yeah, I mean, but but Tank Davis already held um, a WBA regular title at 140 already. You know what I'm saying? So even when they was elevating him at 135 to the WBA Super, he said he didn't want it. You know what I'm saying? So what? Him him moving up to 140 and picking up another title? Mm, yeah, you might be. You know, it could be some stock into that. I don't know. Yeah, nah, because look, I think you said. In the, the article, Mexican champion, Mexican yeah. superstar yeah. champion, Mexican, the brown, brown, black, brown, mm-hmm. black. They, you know, they, they, they pushing it. Tank yeah. Davis is what? The superstar, the black superstar. Yeah. Now, the article that you just read, Isak Cruz is the brown Mexican superstar. They fought okay. already. He Tank went the distance not with fight Tank. Him the same. Yeah, he went the distance, nah. but yeah. the rematch is not gonna be the same, man. I mean, at all. Esau Cruz at has all. fought the same way since he fought Tank. Yeah. 
I think that they, they might be setting that up, man. You know, the PBC, they, they, they need a splash right now. They're very dry over there, you know. They need a splash. Did, did you hear anything about this? I, I didn't want to talk about this, but I know you have inside sources, too, with Rick and all that. Did you hear anything about the pay-per-view numbers, man? You know, I don't like talking about that because I don't want to kick those people when they're down. But did you hear anything about the numbers? Yeah, you dropped out for a second. I said, um, did you hear anything about the PPV numbers? I mean, I don't, I don't want to kick those people when they're down, but did you hear anything out of pay-per-view, um, did? Pay-per-view numbers with who exactly? Uh, Roley and Isak, what? Uh, yeah, that, that whole card, the inaugural uh, Prime or PBC, PBC on Prime. Because the, 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 the person who fought on the main event was who again? Um, Tim Zorn Fondora. Yeah, that's what I thought. And and on X, supposedly it was said that they did like allegedly. I don't know, man. I don't even want to put that number as low as it was, but it was like thirty k or something. <laughs> yes, shout out to JD. J JD said he heard thirty k too. Yeah, yeah I, heard, I heard Rick Glacier. I think put that out there. Shout out to JD. Yeah, well, you know that. They don't they don't like Rick. Rick is like me. I think shout out to Rick, man. I like Rick, man. Rick makes me a likable guy on his social media. You know, shout like 20, out to Rick. 20 or 30 K, bro. Damn. 20 or 30 K. Good lord. Damn. Maybe that's why we don't <laughs> got the announcement yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why the announcement hasn't come out hey, yet. Hey man, it might have been Damn. in-house announcement though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they they got to the last minute. <laughs> they announced it in house. Yeah, you know how they like having in house yeah. fights, man. Maybe they announced it in house. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's why our schedule hasn't dropped yet, man. Maybe that's oh, why. Wow. That, you're right. Schedule still haven't dropped yet, man. Schedule still haven't dropped for them yet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I laughed when they had the audacity to say that Boost Ennis was offered Tim Zoo and all these guys. I'm like, when? What dates? Like, you can really? if you offer a guy's fight, what is the date, man? Like, mm -hmm. at least with Top Rick and these other people, Shakur's fighting July 6th. He has a date. Jihad is fighting June 8th. They have dates. Like, all these other guys, they got these offers for fights, but what is the dates, man? Mm -hmm. What are the dates, man? Unbelievable, man. I, yeah, I want to I wanna get in one of these debates with these guys, man. But they don't let me in. You know what I'm saying? They don't even acknowledge my comments. When I ask these questions, I'm like, yo, where, where are the dates at? You know, it's a PBC, Al Heyman, Knight, Inside. Where are the dates? guys on here arguing and debating about this that and third where are the dates what are the cities you know like look we know newark for shakur we know nyc for jihad hmm. where are where are the cities you know are they fighting in new mexico arizona where are they fighting at well shout out to adrian brona adrian brona said it they should be fighting on twitter and youtube in a second so will the other guy and these guys with the bigger platforms be picking up the, you know, the stream. Where are these guys fighting at, man? That's a good Damn, question. Pop said trash. He said those numbers are depressing. Imagine getting those numbers. It's time to hit the bottle. Oh man, yeah, it's bad, man. It's bad. It's bad. It is. It is very bad, man. That's why I said yeah. PBC is weak, man. And we can't and, and we can't be acting like those numbers, you know, just gonna go away like that was a championship fight. That was a championship yeah, fight. Not only no. any championship fight, that was a unification championship. You trying to tell me they did twenty to thirty K? That's wow. Yeah. Listen, man, I, if that's if that's what it is, people need to talk about that. Cause when Crawford was doing fifty and all these other numbers, mm -hmm. man, y'all was killing him, man. Killing him. And they're gonna kill him that again. Was 
Because if he, it, look, if Crawford gets a fight over in Riyadh, a big money fight, all they're going to be talking about is not what money he made, but how his pay-per-view numbers was, was you know, all these numbers they created. They don't talk about they, no they, other fights over there, Riyadh pay-per-view numbers. But let Crawford fight over there. I guarantee you that they're going to start talking about pay-per-view numbers. They can. And they know what numbers that Crawford and his people can talk about. The numbers that he did with Earl Spence. Earl mm-hmm. Spence highest to date was with Crawford. Highest to date was with Crawford. So talk about it. You know? Yeah, they you know, before that it was all, you know, Mikey, 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 but you no, know, yeah. we know for a fact, man, his highest payday, his highest numbers with, with that on monster. Crawford. So Yeah. You have to accept so that. That, that, that that killed that narrative. That killed that narrative quick. Cause if this shit, if Earl was that the biggest, you know, the biggest, the big draw, why he had to fight Crawford to do those type of numbers? Mm-hmm. You know. What do you and think? They, what do you think Crawford should? What do you think he he should get if he was to fight? Um, his next fight, you know, what I'm saying, what do you think his average might be? You know, as far as his 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 worth as a fighter. You know, 10 million, yeah, 15 million. I was going to tell you, he, 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 he's, a, he's an eight figure fighter now, man. Okay. He's, that's why, you know, I, when, when I heard him say about, you know, the, the guy Boots and shit, that Boots is fighting in like ballrooms and shit like that, I understand why. Crawford's an eight figure fighter now. Yeah. You know? Because him and Spence got eight figures, man. And what do you think that fight worth, though? What the boots in, in Crawford? Yeah. Mm. Just guess. Just guessing. Right now with, with, with Boots' new situation. Um I say give or take, right? You yeah, know, I'm being nice, man. I'm being nice, man. I say you give Crawford ten, maybe Boots can get two million, man. Two, two to three, man. You know, right right now, Boots, you know, they, they turned on him already, man. The, does Boots have a fan base right now? You know, when he was when he was over there, he had a fan base. Now it's like nobody likes him. He 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 he's not the new Earl Spence. I mean, they captured some of those aerosexuals at the border, at the aerosexual border. They caught, they captured some of them. They interrogating them right now. But as far as that, um, hey, there's some out there. Some got through, some didn't. You know, yeah. they're building underground tunnels all over the place. So maybe <laughs> maybe once they hit the news, the underground tunnel, discover some more fans for Boots. But, hey, yeah. that's where we at with it. I just, you know, you know, speaking about Earl, right, I, I just see how a lot of, like, um, diehard Earl Spence fans, right, that when he lost, they, like, you know, some of them try to – I see some of them now right now, they try to turn into Shakur Stevenson uh, guys, right? It was, the different different fighters, man. It's like damn, that Earl Spence loss like really fucked a lot of people up, man. It did. They're like, they're like they they didn't even they 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 went from being boxing fans, right, to just lost, man. Like you're you're a fan, like fighters lose, man. But it was like that Earl Spence loss, man. Like they they were so so like just investing in Earl EJ, man. You know the, the the brother with the shag, <laughs> you know. Oh my that god, shit just for real, right? That shit, <laughs> that shit fucked the Wild DC up, man. That's why you know when, when when that happened, right? It was funny to me, right? Cause I you know I studied the Wild DC and these weirdos, right? When Earl lost the lush, he emerged because he mm-hmm. he he came he came and got the shag, the brother with the shag spot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying that it's been no looking back for him. Mm-hmm. It's like, damn, you guys were so invested in EJ that when EJ got dog walked, you guys couldn't even be content creators no more, man. That shit is crazy. Crazy. Like, damn, Embarrass- your whole- embarrassment to do that to you, though. I mean, <laughs> you put all that best of time in there. Embarrassment to have you take some time off, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You can't, man. The other half, you taking yeah. vacation hours you don't have, man. 
you can't though. If you're, you know, if you're a true boxer fan, see, but yo, you know what? You're right though, because when Jahan lost, yeah, them dudes came for me. They tried to shame me, boy. Yeah, man. And I'm like, man, we stronger than ever. Hey, you see, when we, when we spent the block with Francisco Verón, man, man, these guys got low again, man. There you they go. got low, but they tried to shame me, boy. I, yeah, they was coming for me. Left the row, oh, you lost to Nicholas Flays, man. We ain't lose this like I told that clown. I said, he, nah, he would have lost if the, 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 the check would have bounced. He ain't lose. He just yep. didn't get the decision <laughs> that night. He's a professional prize fighter. He got his purse. He you just didn't get that. the decision. He just didn't get the decision. The bounce. You the bounce. Yeah. Yeah. He just didn't get the decision. You, you, you're you, stupid, buddy. You know? But where was you at when we beat the dog shit out of Francisco Verón, who now campaigns as a junior middleweight? Where was you at, man? How do you beat somebody to it in attendance? You, you, they, they came down for just a short, quick one. And then they said, no, I think we should stay down here. I just... Uh, you didn't look as strong as we thought you was in there. You're supposed to go in there and stop that guy. I mean, I, I don't think I've never seen a fighter do that. They, they, a fighter who has been sent um, in the opposition to carry out a mission or carry out an order. And the orders does not get um, honored. So, therefore, you know, Jahai pushed this dude from number five to number ten in a different weight class. How? Yeah, that's not the first time that happened, man. The, 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 the one of the best. That? I don't think I ever seen that happen before in my life, man. Yeah, it happens though, man. When you, when when you get the wrong mission and you get the wrong assessment, right? Maybe maybe he got an assessment from a coach like Derek James that doesn't watch film. And, you know, they they gave I think, him. The I wrong think they was report. running the 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 Nico. Villy. I think they were running that? that first round over they and did. over and over again. They did. And they felt like Francisco Veron was much stronger possibly than Nico. Yes. So they said, this is all you have to do. He's there for the taking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Francisco Veron was huge, man. That dude was big as hell. That dude was he big. blew up to be a cobra. He was a big cobra. His back was big fight night. Yeah, he was. But Electric Boogie broke his ass down, man. Yeah, I can't wait to see you, Tim. I can't wait to see Tim Bradley. Man. I got to talk to you, Tim. I got to talk to you. You, you duck my, you decline my interview. And you, you're on you're on social media talking about you don't decline stuff. I just wanted to no, feel no, the no. conversation. He said, I like when they keep my name yeah. in their mouth. So I say, yeah. if that's the case, then... Why wouldn't you want to come over here for an interview? Just, you know, just one-on-one, mano and mano. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk the talk. Why wouldn't he give you an interview, man? Because you got them them, them dudes out there. To, oh, don't do that, man. Yeah. Don't take yeah, that serious. You know, yeah, you know those guys. The guys. You know the guys. But that was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst Tim Bradley, man. For real. Like, yeah. That was the worst, man. That was I the worst say- how he, he continued to say Jahai's defense place him out of range to throw a counter shot i was like what this dude is dancing on the inside and every time he he slip a punch to him say see he's all he's off off balance he's off balance he's off balance see man, he's man, about to get the Tim, blue ticket yeah Tim, timothy bradley was catching for Rotnikov, um you know flashes he was getting hot flashes <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting the sense of humor <laughs> with that box. <laughs> he told, he was getting provoked to call hot flashes. Yeah, because provoked call was putting them gloves on the one. <laughs> yeah, so that's what he was. You know, he 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 see that and then caught, you know caught, caught a little bit of amnesia. Hot hey, flash. You, you start talking about provoked call. He might show up on your panel now. You know how you like to prove. <laughs> You might say, okay, I had enough of this. I had enough of this. <laughs> Drop the link. Drop the link. <laughs> yeah, well, shout out to Tim Bradley, though. You know, and Drop shout out to link. Jake. Shout out to Jake Donovan, because Jake Donovan held this down. Mm-hmm. Jake Donovan is no longer with the boxing scene. I think he's with um Ring Magazine now, right? If I'm not mistaken. I think so. 
Well, shout out to him. He held us down, man. He wrote a, he wrote a great article when I seen he did a powerful tweet talking about oh, how how jihad was aggressively matched for those of y'all mm. in 12 fights. You know, a lot of young fighters aren't aggressively matched as a jihad Tucker has been matched in 12 fights. You know, two Olympians, undefeated guys, you know. He's not fighting cab drivers and guys like Amari Jones, Osmosis. You know, he's you're not fighting those type of guys, man. You don't fight those type of guys, man. No, I wasn't impressed. I supposed to say he wasn't impressed. Like, who, who have you fought that's impressive? <laughs> Osmosis. <laughs> Too bad we can't get a fight with him. You know, we can't. We can't. Osmosis said he wasn't impressed, but when asked, would there be a fight by the by the hype man himself? He said, no, nah, I'll fight that up the road. Huh? You and him got the same amount of fights. What are you talking about up the road? No, it's now. Yeah. N-O-W, man. Yeah, nah, he if you're ain't not ready. impressed with somebody, that means what? I mean, you, you, you saying you can you can go in there and get it. You know, you can go in there yeah. and give him the loss. Yeah, it's funny how the guys that don't be impressed, right? They, those be the same guys that be in the gym. When you were in Vegas at the top rank facility, they'd be in the corner like this. Why, why, you know, watching you spar and work like this. <laughs> now, now I fall over. Like, I, I wasn't impressed with that, brother. We was in the gym, you know. You just, uh-huh. you just, you, 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 I was, I was going to ask you if you want some popcorn or something, man. You, you, <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. You guys, you guys be different, man. But yeah. Shout out to them. Now, he's fighting next week, too, man. Yeah, I see him. I think he's, he's on that card, too. I mean, I, I wasn't impressed with his last fight. He, he, uh-uh, nah. Yeah, like, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he could have, look, he, he don't know how he's, he, he, he blew it. Like, him, you know, he could have started up a rivalry if they if he had the cojones to do it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, cause, cause, cause even though him and Jahar's not on the same level skill set-wise, he could have talked himself into a fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're around the same age. Same of, yeah, same age, same yeah. amount of fights. He could have he could have talked himself into a fight, man. But they didn't they didn't want that fight. Nah, they they, they got other plans for him. They're building him and going to them. Maybe we'll see him down the road, man. Maybe we'll see him down the road. I doubt it, man. I I think what Jihad did Early in his career is gonna have an effect on him. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter yeah, how many yeah, listen, you get. I got you know, I gotta say it as Team Tucker. You know, I can't see so you you can say that, but I you know, I got I can't come on here and say that. You know, I gotta I gotta be politically uh, correct. You know, I gotta that ain't going nowhere gotta, anytime soon, man. <laughs> and they're gonna look at that film, they say, Hey, you know, we Okay, we got through Francis. I mean, we got through um, Nicholas Flash. Okay, but it's about to get tough. We about to go through the the study, the film study with Francisco Verone. You ready? No, not right now, man. You ready, man? You know, just give it a little bit more time. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough to look at now, because when you look at how Jaha was on the inside, barely slipping punches and being able to counter. You know what I mean, I'm talking about centimeters of slipping punches on the inside, man. That's rhythm. That's rhythm and flow right there, man. Yeah, yeah, and I, I want to say this on this live too, since I got you on here, and I want y'all to document. I should have said a second ago, and it was about eighty y'all in here, but it's sixty y'all in here now. Take this gem that I'm giving you, right? There's only one young fighter that has done this, right? Um, he's ten one and one. The fight I'm talking about, the fighter that beat him went down in weight. He now campaigns at welterweight. This is the fighter that they said we lost to. That's what he did. The fighter that they said we had a draw with, who was much bigger, uh, middleweight at the time, number five in the world, now number 10, also is campaigning at a lighter weight. Yes, Jihad Tucker did that. Electric for both, for both. Boogie, a.k.a. the Slime Master. He did that. That is a fact. The Bush Flays beat us at, at super middleweight. I mean, our jun- at, uh, junior middleweight, 154. 
and now campaigns at 147. Shout out to him. He got a, a stoppage on the Pro Box card. Yeah. And on that Pro Box card, he said he's staying at welterweight. Jahan Tucker. That's all I'm going to say, man. Yeah. Jahan Tucker. That's you know, true. Who wants, to, who wants to debate? It's out there. Yeah, yeah. That's the guy we lost to. That's the guy alleged. Well, it's not alleged, but they said we lost. One of the judges had it six two. You want to debate? Get your wine glasses <laughs> and get your head right, and then come over here and debate. You know, what I'm yeah, get your get your, get your head right. I I don't have no boons. I don't have no mad dog. Twenty twenty <laughs> for you, but I can accommodate you. You're down there in Texas. I do know a couple bootleggers. I I send them your way. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying for real. Yeah, but yeah, Jihad is the only fighter, young prospect that that has done that. Two guys, they put them, they both, you know, one's campaign at Walter Wade, the other at Junior Middle now. Both of these guys were fighting at heavier weights. But after they fought Jihad, they thought about going a different direction. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was a different direction. <laughs> but yeah, WCS, I'm going to wrap it up, man. Let everybody know where they can find you at. Things you got going on. Are you coming on later? If you're coming on later, let them know when they can check you out. Yeah, man. Um, shout out to um, the news by Shaw News Sauce Experience, man. You know, continue to do what you do. Like I tell you, man, growth, you know what I'm saying, is something that you have to want. You have to be motivated and hungry to continue to build brick by brick. You know, you're doing that. So salute to you. Much respect. Shout out to everybody who tuned in to it. World Combat Sports. You know, worldcombatsports.com. I'm continuing to do what I do. The hot grease is definitely going to be um, more of that on the way. We 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 getting a step closer to um, the Terrence Crawford, and we got a whole lot of other things that's materializing in boxing. But make sure you check out that UFC 300 card that's coming on tomorrow night. Yeah, that's ceremonial, tomorrow night. Ceremonial yeah. weigh-ins probably already happened while we was on here, but yeah, I'm gonna go check that replay out, man. But hold it down, man. Salute to you. Keep on doing your thing. I'm out. I yeah, appreciate you. Shout out to WCS. We are going to wrap this up. This was the news by Shout News Extended Friday Night Sauce. Shout out to everybody that came through. Make sure you smash the like button. Share the content. If not, it's all good. Because as you can see, we are growing, blowing, and going. But hey, what do I know? Broadcasting live with the sauce. Shout out to Jihad Tucker, June 8th. Shout out to the Wise Owl Box and Charles Conwell. Next Saturday, 420 Barclay Center. Also, Brandon the Cannon Adams, 419 OTX Tournament down there in Atlanta at the OTE Arena. Also, Isaiah Too Hard Car and D'Angelo Muscle Evans, 420 Rock Hill Gymnastics Center, South Carolina. You know, you do have options. The news by Shaw News. This is the source experience where we talk boxing, show boxing, and also grow with the business. This is the source experience. The news by Shaw News. But I, what do I know? In the arena, look who I got. Ring girl. Hi, Arena. Missy Girls. Hey. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell.